And here we are again. Here we are. See Sandy's here we are again. Sandy's nose <laughs> just poking yeah. in. What? Sandy's nose is just poking into the screen. Just poking in. Just poking in. How's it going? <laughs> I am exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> I have, have my game up here. I, I got to make it so I can see both the chat and the stream at the same time. So I, oh. I can see who I'm talking to. You know, I, I, I don't know. Some, some people might, uh, might think that, you know, a stream like this is like, this would be considered work, but like this, <laughs> this is, you know, this is, this, this is I, relaxation for me. Exactly. I mean, it, streams are always relaxing. I, think. I mean, I think some always, people think of it as work, but it's always just like, oh, well, people just, who do it like every yeah. day. Like I can't imagine doing yeah. streams every day. A lot of respect for people who can do that, but yeah. I just have no yeah, well, I'm, I'm looking. Be singularly thinking about that all the time. I'm looking forward to just <clears throat> stepping yeah. away and playing some games. Yep. For sure. So uh, we're certain off the beginning of the stream with, uh, <laughs> as I said on Twitter, that we're going to embarrass ourselves at Virtua Fighter 5 uh, because we were sent some some codes, some uh, some North American bundle codes for the base game and DLC and uh, European bundle bundle codes. So I'm going to post those in the chat as we play. And uh, your what did you say? European bundle codes? Yeah, there's European and North American bundle. I have I have five of each. I mean, I assume they're valid in both regions. Yeah, I mean, I I assume, but I mean, they they are they were listed separately as European bundle cl- codes and North American bundle codes. Hmm. So, uh, so I, I have five codes from each region, and uh, you know, we're gonna I'm gonna post them in here, and uh, let me know if 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 you get it, okay. But in the meantime, you want to switch over to the game? Yeah, I, I see that there was a two dollars from from uh, oh. Ben Brody already, saying uh, my baloney has a first name. It's O S S C. Oh, I mean O S C A R. <laughs> you know, you say baloney, I say balagna. Balagna. Yeah. Do you say balagna? No, but I. I mean. I mean, myself. it is spelled that way. Yeah, it is spelled bal- Balagna. That's just one of those things, you know, I'll say it to my kids and they're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> also, is that like pronouncing it phonetically or whatever. Look, look, oh, so look, you're playing on the, uh, on the, on the PS5. Yeah, I actually haven't downloaded it to my PS4 yet. Oh. I, th- I, I think my PS5 was on at the time and I was just like, oh, well, I guess I'll download it here. 
<laughs> also, look at what is installed next to it. It's Lichdom Battle Mage. <laughs> I, I, okay. I mean, I guess. I guess. I, I, I'm actually that. really. It, I haven't tried it yet, but it's like so cheap. <laughs> and uh, like the performance in theory should be perfect on it. Uh, really uh, these it. versions are just for the for the PS4. There, I think there only is a PS4 version. I think I think it is only on the PS4 currently. Uh, and if you, you know, if you have uh, PlayStation, PlayStation Plus, I think that this is free on there as well. Really? Hmm. I, I gotta like, be honest, I'm not sure if I've played. Re signed up for PS Plus. I, I'm, I'm not sure if I've played any version of Virtual Fighter. You, so you've never played Virtual Fighter? I might have at some point, but I, I'm, I am far from positive. <laughs> Uh, is a fly swatter for all this, uh, cicadas? Yeah. Is uh, it? They are I, insane. I, I can't imagine hitting a cicada with, with a, well, you with know, a fly swatter. Like they're too yeah. big to hit with a fly swatter. Well, it, it like it erupt all over the place. I think. <laughs> so these last like three days has got really out of control, and. It's, you know, like, it's not even that scary. It's kind of, it doesn't, it's not really freaking me out like I thought it was gonna. Mm -hmm. It is just, like, so weird, like, how many there are. And, you know, you, I haven't really gone outside because they are, like, everywhere. And, <laughs> like, our tree in front of our house is just, like, swarming with them. And how loud they get... You know, I was just not expecting it to be as loud as it is. Like, I knew they were supposed to be loud. You know, I heard a thing about how they get as loud as a plane. Mm -hmm. But it is ridiculously loud. Uh, and the thing is, like, I think I got over it when I when I realized that they're actually just, like, that they're kind of it, that they're idiots. <laughs> you know, they... It, it almost feels like they have... Almost feels like they barely even know how to fly. <laughs> like they, it just seems like they struggle, struggle to get anywhere that they're trying to get to. <laughs> so, I, so I, I know that I you. That's why I kind of got a little bit over it. So, uh, we we ordered some ordered pizza yesterday, and it came, and I opened the door because you know, like I had him like leave it on the on the uh, on the porch. And I opened the door to get it, and I saw one, like, like coming, like from far off. I, w <laughs> I watched the entire time, like we were, we were like, like making eye contact with each other, like me and the cicada. And it's coming from so far away, and just so slowly, and it like flew right in the door of the house. Oh gosh! But it landed like right on the, um, on the the you know the, the mat. <laughs> and I like smacked it out back out into outside, but it was like in slow motion how sl slowly it was flying towards, <laughs> like flying towards the house. <laughs> like I could have easily, but I was trying to grab the pieces at the same time. <laughs> so, so, you know, it was uh, it was it was funny. It was I, funny. I, I see. I uh, see. Gape Horned has two dollars. And saying, uh, I hate cicadas more than Arby's. I, I, I love Arby's. I had Arby's yesterday. <laughs> or as I like to say, Arbus. Arbus. <laughs> uh, okay. so, so which one is going to make a room or, or code here. everyone have their oh, have PlayStation your... redeem code ready. And let me know if you get it. I, I have okay. no idea how to invite people to games or whatever on PlayStation 5 or 4, for that matter. All right. Yeah, I hear you, Sandy. I hear you, Wolf. We should have played before the stream. 
but I was too tired. I was too tired, Sandy. I know, you want to do stuff. Oh man, Henry Clark tried to get, oh, uh, Cent oh. Century Umble got it. Nice. How many you got? Uh, I have five for each region. Oh, wow. Well, let, let's try a match. I have no clue yeah. how to play Virtua Fighter or honestly any fighting game really. So okay, well, I, I can kind of play Soul Calibur and that's about it. <laughs> Uh, so what are we going to do? You going to create a room? Wait, Mega X is saying that they got it too? Where? Um. How could this be? You press uh, buttons at the right time. I thought you just pressed buttons randomly in fighting games. Uh, <laughs> $10 from Shinjon saying $10 million, but every time you have Arby's, you also have to eat a deep fried cicada coated in buffalo sauce. Um, I'd probably give up. Uh, I mean, okay. I, I that's that sounds gross, but I bet it's probably not actually that bad. It's probably not that bad, but it sounds gross. I might take that ten million. I I'm might trying to figure out how I can invite you. Do I just, can I search for you? Oh, search passcode? Okay. Uh, search passcode? Okay, we can do that. I, well, I don't know how. I just, it says search passcode. Oh, I, I guess it's just making passcode rooms appear. So yeah, why don't you make a passcode room? Okay. And then drop in Discord what the code is. When you're ready. Alright, so I guess. Alright, so let me do this. See if that works. So, have you put the room live? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm in here. I mean, I assume I should see Corey C on this list. You think so? Oh, look at. We got a uh, five dollars from James uh, Di Stefano. Thank so you. Said Happy Donut Day. Thank you. So, hey guys, just sort of watching your content this week. I've been binging nonstop. Oh. Your videos are such high quality. I can't believe we hadn't heard of the channel until now. I believe I hadn't heard of the channel now. But now we need a. Uh, I'm like Adlib uh, with Happy Console Gamer. We need that. We definitely need to get back to to doing that stuff. Yeah. Um, is that how do you? I don't, I wish I, I don't know I why can't I invite you to the room. I don't know. It's probably something that like you know normal people know how to do, but like I don't play like <laughs> online games other than Final Fantasy, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to do these things. Is there a way to just have a a room? 
I, um, I do not know. Let me see if I can just do it through the uh, the friend menu. I I don't think I've ever played a multiplayer game on the PS4. <laughs> we pro- we we played uh, we played Resident Evil Five a little bit. Oh, that's true. That's true. I think but, we've I mean, done something. That, but yeah, I mean, I like PS3. I was relatively familiar with the process. Like PS4, I just like pretty much completely stopped playing any online games that weren't Final Fantasy for the most part, you know? Yeah. Like, I just, I do not really play online games anymore. Um. Does any, anybody in the chat know how to <laughs> no, send how, an Know how to PlayStation? How do PlayStation? This is, this is ridiculous. How do you send an invite? I don't see anything where, where, for where, where the heck do you even do friend stuff on the PS5? I think it's here. The, the game base. Yeah, see, you try creating a room. Just see what happens. See if you can find anything else. Oh, are, well, for one, isn't your, like, online status hidden? Like, I don't think I can find you in my list. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I have myself appearing offline. I wonder if they have anything to do with it. Oh, here, I can invite to game. Oh, you can? Wait. Your PS5 games that support multiplayer will appear here. For a PS4 multiplayer game, try saying invites from within the game itself. So I guess this only applies to PS5 game. Look, there's a Cory C UK, a Cory C Japan, and a Cory Carnes. But there's only one. Are R2 filters? Huh? People are mentioning R2 filters. I have all on. Uh, I have it set to all. Room settings, connection, room tag, status, number of players. I mean, if you just for the left go button, press the A button in the first page, and the address book should display your PS4's unique <laughs> in digit friend code. Yeah, I have the Japanese. Uh, for the, for the Japanese store. Oh, I see. I thought those were other people who just happened to be named Corey C. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's going on here. Oh, hang on, hang on. Sega Forever is here. If you refresh and look for a Caffeine Dreamer, I, cre- I created a room. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Um, so we're going to do... Uh, do a search... How do I do a search? Uh, it says if you refresh, we go to room search. Let's see here. Do a room search and look for. Is it? Uh, search passcode. Oh. Um, hmm. I, well, for one, they're looking at my screen, so. Uh, right, right, right. In clear room in the menu above. What what menu above? Oh, I guess if I go to oh. room create. Yeah, so you can take it forever. Pro. It's a passcode yeah. if you want to. Avoid. I can create a room in the menu above instead of passcode if you want to avoid ra- randoms from entering. That's I mean, that's what I had done. So I created a room. Of course, people could, if I said it, people would be able to see the passcode. So if you hit search passcode and you put in the passcode that I sent you. That's what I've done. I keep hitting triangle. Triangle. I search passcode and it refreshes. But I don't, I don't see your name on here. Like it says Uh hit, you know, triangle, search passcode. You can put in the passcode there. 
No, it just all it does is refresh the uh, the list, and they all have all these. See, if I hit square and search, some of them have locks, some of them don't. If I hit triangle, they only have locks. I mean, maybe you can only display so many, and for some yeah, reason, the way that... until my so now you got to refresh until my uh, put in put in the search passcode and put put in the number that I sent. I, I I can't. There is nothing that says like enter number though. Yeah, I saw it pop up. What are you hit talking search about? Search passcode. Search passcode. Hit triangle. There's nothing. Like I clicked on some random person's thing, and it wants their passcode. No, 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 no. Hit so hit triangle triangle now you should see a four digit number pad there's not i saw it come up and then you like closed no, no, it look i hit it i right there right there yes but i i clicked on a random person's room like unless it just like lets you enter your passcode it warps me to your room but see, Pasco is incorrect because I was trying to get into Espada 213's room. Okay. See, th that is only if I hit X on one of these that pops up. Okay, why don't you try creating a room? Okay. Or, I mean... Um, I'll, I'll hide... It's like a super caffeine dreamer who is running the, uh, the Sega account here and... But I'm not sure we can do a search for her name unless there's, I mean, there's a. In the meantime. Oh, you won't need to use a passcode until you find my profile from refreshing. Um, that's okay. That's okay. Listen, why don't you, just, why don't you practice with some arcade version? Okay. And then I'll post some of these codes. I, I don't even know why we're trying to play together because it's not like I know how to play. Yeah, I, mean, I just. I just crush you, probably. probably. With my with, with my pie chan. All right. Um, and uh, the old guy. Here we go. Oh, you got to switch back. Are you? What? Okay, you're sorry. Forget it. I hit earlier in the stream. Oh, you're be. Are you being Brad Burns? No, I'm the. I'm the old dude. Oh, Shundi. He's the. He's like the, the drunken master. This. This is the game that was like really huge in Japanese arcade, right? Or was that another virtual fight? I mean, they're probably all oh, were relative. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But. Yep, you can also play as uh, VF1 versions. If you choose your, like, a different. Uh... You mean they're, they're, like, all polygonal and stuff? Yeah. Um... Yeah. I can do this here. definitely show up every time let me know if anybody gets that code that i just posted in the in the chat oh there he is that wolf hawk field i love the like the names in this jeffrey mcwild is still my favorite jeffrey mcwild i i, I must have this on easy mode because i'm not having any trouble yet the uh the difficulty doesn't really spike until the third match, I find. Ah. Because I'm just mashing random buttons, because I don't know how to play fighting games. <laughs> well, square blocks. I think uh, triangle and, and X punch. And uh, circle is kick. And the shoulders are combinations of stuff. Oh, okay. So s square... So I, I I was assuming holding back was block. Oh hey, it's so me versus me. 
this is kind of cool. I know a lot of people have been asking for a a modern version of this for a long time. I don't even know when VF5 came out. Because, I mean, the original VF5, it was on I think 360. Like, I think it came out in like 2005 or something like that. Yeah, I mean, so it's 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 a little bit older. But it so it uses a different engine. It uses the uh, the Yakuza engine. Right. So they remade it. Um, so is it considered okay. pretty oh, yeah, faithful? Yeah. Code. What's that? Is it considered pretty faithful in terms of the gameplay? Um, I assume so. I mean. It, it makes a lot of sense for them to do it in the Yakuza engine, I feel like. Because, oh, sure. you know, Yakuza always felt like a spiritual successor to Shenmue. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and it seems appropriate that that engine would be used on another Yu Suzuki game. You know what I mean? So it's like that, that connection. Um, yeah, this is, it's currently available on PS Plus. That's and, probably uh, why I can never find your room, <laughs> because there's so many people playing it. Yeah, I, I mean, I could have something to do with that. I think but you can only display so many rooms at a time, so I just, I don't. They, I guess they are working on a, on a patch to make it so that it's easier to search for. Oh. For people. So yeah, probably just makes sense for me to play by myself then. <laughs> oh, he's acting a little, a little saucy there. <laughs> well, he's the drunken master, I guess. Um, so I'm going to post a European bundle code. Uh, Sega America, I'm not sure if you can clarify this or not, but is the will the European bundle codes are they? Uh, redeemable on US PSN. I assume not, but I just want to make sure. I love the just like lighting and colors in this. Like it just has a really realistic feel to the, the atmosphere. Yeah. Even though I'm sure it's not technically doing anything fancy with the lighting, it just looks really good. Yeah, I mean, I never, I never played this until uh, this version, and you know, I played Virtua Fighter one and two uh, in the arcade and on the Saturn, but I was never very good at them, and I, I don't think I really got into this series very much until. Until Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution. Oh, I, th I thought you yes. were a longtime Virtua Fighter fan. No, I mean, I've, I've never been been good at it. I mean, I wouldn't even say I'm good at it. I'm definitely not good at it now. But, I mean, like, I played VF 4 Evolution because that was an instance where the Greatest Hits version added all kinds of stuff. Remember those days when the, you know, you'd get the vanilla version and then the greatest oh, version. Oh yeah. Out, it always like add a whole bunch of content. Well, virtual actually, you know, I I have played some Virtual Fighter on on uh, on PS2 because uh, that was uh, you know for the PS2 episode that we did, you know that was an example of one of the games that at least the Japanese I can't remember if it was the Japanese version or if, or if that was one of the games that had. Um, uh, uh, a different version of the U.S., but there, you know, it's one of those games that had the uh, really flickery field rendering in uh, the original version, and then it was cleaner image quality in a, in, a, in a later release. I can't remember if it was. I think like I know that Tekken Tag Tournament, like the the U.S. version, is a lot cleaner than the Japanese version. I forget about Virtual Fighter if it was like. The first version of the U.S. was also like that. Sorry, I was just 
uh, Denis Bound got this one. Congratulations. Oh. <laughs> what? I, I oh, just, wow, yeah. I just kind of juggled him out of the ring there. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post another European bundle code in just a moment. This is this is always really fun to be able to give out codes like this in the in the chat. Remember when we did the one when Sega sent us all those codes for like all the re digital releases for a year? Oh yeah, <laughs> and it was that was super fun. We had like just like twenty games or something like that. We were able to give out codes codes for. I wonder if there's any performance improvements on the uh, on the PlayStation Five. I can't imagine it really. Probably makes not. Difference. I mean, I it's I, I can't quite tell from this. Let me get look at my TV. I don't think it's. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's def it's definitely not 4K. So I I I bet you anything it's probably 60 on base PS4 too. I mean that's usually a high priority for fighting games. It would be neat to see if this this could be possibly updated for you know 4K at some point though. I'm sure. So, uh, this version of VS5, VF5 has been completely remade in the Dragon Engine, which is the recent Yakuza engine. So I assume that that's the one that, uh, from, one, uh, from Like a Dragon? Uh, yeah, I think, I think Like a Dragon and Judgment use it. I'm not sure. I, I don't yeah. think, I don't think Zero uses right, it. Right, right. I just actually bought the PS5 version, physical PS5 version of Judgment. So it was like $28 or something like that. And I'd been, I'd been waiting to get it, you know, on the on the uh, PS4 for a while. Mm -hmm. But when I saw there's, you know, a physical version of the, of the on the PS5, I, d I got that, and I got a physical PS5 version of Control. Ah. Which I didn't even realize was a thing. I'm I'm going I'm going to get the PS5 version of Like a Dragon at some point. Same here. Same oh, yeah. here. I I played Yakuza Zero. That's the only one I've played. Which I mean, it was it was good, but I feel like the RPG gameplay is like definitely going to be much more to my interest. And like they've already said that like the the Judgment series is going to like continue the brawler gameplay of Yakuza. But and that like the main Yakuza series is going to be an RPG going forward. So that's that's pretty neat. Yeah. I like that they did that because it's clear that they, that's they're just making the game they want to make. Yeah, and you know they they even got permission from Square Enix to like refer to Dragon Quest like in universe. Like Dragon Quest is actually part of the story. <laughs> that's fun. Uh, so I was just thinking about how. Uh, Virtua Fighter 5 is in Judgment. Just the arcade version. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just like an emulated version. Interesting. As far as I know, I think in a lot of those, M2 has done the emulation for the arcade games. At least in the other Yakuza games. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about like any of the 3D or more complicated games there and there. Maybe, I don't know. So the... 
is it like random who's the final boss? Like, I feel like this guy, I mean, this is, this is like the main VF guy. Like he can't, he can't be the bad guy. Right. Looks like, looks like Gape Horn might've gotten that code. Old Gape. <laughs> I think, I think, I think I can beat him. His his uh, Akira Yuki's music in the uh, his music in Virtua Fighter Two is like one of my favorite music tracks, and I've used it several times in in videos. But I always, there's this part like halfway through the song where you know it gets really really good, and I try to bring the music up whenever I use it. Yeah, I remember when we used to like be like, oh, like I've used this track before, and now it's like I don't even remember what music I've oh used God. at this yeah. point. So, <laughs> and it, it, there's even times now where I just say, I just like randomly pick something. Yeah. Ah. Right. I can do it. I can do it. I mean, I have a feeling that it might show up on the Xbox later on. Especially since all the Yakuza games are have been ported over to it now. You gotta at least, you know, beat it so that you can knock this one. I mean, I haven't even put it on my backlog, but if I beat it, I'll put it on my backlog. Why not? <laughs> I think about all the, oh, Dean Rand's got it. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Dang, I didn't think I'd actually get him. That, I mean, I haven't won, but. Oh, I ring out. I, I, I didn't think you could ring out on this stage. Oh, yeah, I, that's why I think it's cool is that he has, like, he has the barrier, but you can knock him over the barrier. That's kind yeah, of cool I thought the that... barrier was too high to knock out. Ah, there is something else. Is it? Is it, it just says bonus Thrall? stage. Yep. Yeah. They're all like a. Why does it say bonus like stage? If I mean, is this? Oh, this is. There's no way I'm going to beat something like this. I'm sure. We got we got four more codes. Here comes another one. This one's gonna be for the U.S. Go 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 go! Come on! Oh, I liked it. Come on! Oh, no! Metal is no longer super shiny. It's, it's kind of scuffed up. That's kind of cool. Oh! I just bought Sakura Wars because I felt like it was kind of getting hard to find. It was sold out from a lot of places. I 
I went for it. That's that's the place I'm at with a lot of this stuff right now. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so I guess I guess you you still get an ending if you if you don't beat Dural, huh? So is that that's like a like Ken right there, kind of. Uh, so you, now you can put it on your, on your backlog. I can, yeah. Oh yeah, Skies of Arcadia remaster is like one of my most wanted things. Oh gosh. It's like right up there next to world peace. <laughs> 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 So I assume that somebody got that because uh, Henry Clark is saying, oh, somebody got that lightning fast. Um, we, we are going to be switching over to uh, uh, to Monster World 4 in just a second. Um, I do have three more codes. I mean, you think it's hopefully, it's like America, hopefully you're, I mean, is it okay if we move to their, like our headline game and I'll continue to hand out the rest of these codes? I don't see why that wouldn't matter. I mean, you know, Monster World 4, you know, is representing the Genesis in it's a way. It's more or less a Sega game. I don't know if Sega had anything to do with it, but... All right, yep. Saying go for it. I mean, I just feel bad if... Yeah. Game over! Game over? Game over. Uh, so... We're gonna. I intended for this video on Asha and Monster World to be out uh, today, but my my son has been sick and throwing up for the last three days, so it really ate into a lot of my my production time. But it, it'll be out tomorrow. I'm gonna finish up like the last little tweaks to it after the stream tonight, and I'll be out tomorrow morning. Uh. And it's it's looking, you know, it's it's kind of a throwback video, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just kind of my like my thoughts and a review of this, and like comparing it to the original version. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> I'll be, I'm, I go easy on it, but I feel like I still kind of give it a hard time. <laughs> so. Well, we'll see what I think. I, I, I don't know what I'm going to think. I mean, I, I feel like I'm going to be like you. I'm going to be like, well, you know, it's fine. Yeah, exactly. It's not what it I could mean, be, it's, but it's, it's fine. all right. I mean, I played a, just a couple minutes of the Switch version, but not much. Yeah. Well, thanks. It was it was fun to play some VF5 Ultimate Showdown. Thank you for the codes. I mean, uh, I don't, I don't it's always like fun to be able to hand that stuff, stuff out. It's, it's it's cool that you know, that we have some big fans at at Sega. I think I've said this in my email to you before, but it's just it's always so cool to be able to to like do something with Sega because they were such a big part of my life for so long, or they have been. Uh, so if I can make a recommendation, what I like, one of the things I like about this, if you go back into the options. Mm -hmm is I really like that you can put the shield guard on the the uh, on the shoulder button mm. and I, I put it right on um, on R2 because the magical hit is like <laughs> I say in my script that uh, I forget I forgot that I even had it for you know oh, like well, magical hits on like two buttons anyway yeah. So so I just put it back. What, what is magical hit? So when you is it, is it like lucky hit? No. <laughs> after you hit a bunch of enemies, then you can uh, hold down that button and hit a hit attack, is and that, it makes it so that you just like do a stronger attack. Is that a new? Uh, like is that I, said, a new I just feature? forgot. I what is that a new? It's feature? new. Yeah. Oh, okay. But it is completely. It's like they wanted to do something more with it, but then. 
than they uh, than they did. Uh, there's five dollars from Aaron Welsh. Thank, Thank you. you. Saying, uh, move to a new house. Need recommendations for new furniture to display. Set up my retro console setup. I uh, have around 15 consoles. Mm. Well, I mean, you know, the, the the old IKEA Calyx is always good for most retro systems, but you've got stuff like, uh, you've got stuff like Master System and original Xbox is too wide for it. Actually, original Xbox might just fit, but I'm not sure. I don't think it does. Um, what I ended up doing is just building kind of like custom shelves into the wall. So everything is mounted. I mm. uh, oh, got these rails yeah, yeah, and, yeah. you know, mounted them into the studs. Um... Oh, Calyx holds OG Xbox. Yeah. I, 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 after, well, after I said it didn't, I'm like, wait, actually, I think it might. <laughs> but it's pretty tight, I think. Of course, you can always put, like, the, the heavier systems or the wider systems on top. I kind of like right. the the Bruce Solly uh, entertainment system from IKEA too. It's it's not uh, not gonna hold like a crap load of stuff, but I do like it. You know, I, I the way I did it, it's like kind of on a corner, so it gives me a little bit more extra shelf space. Uh, and I've like really overdone it. <laughs> I intended to only have a certain amount of shelves in it, but then I found out ways that I could have smaller shelves, like in between the bigger shelves. So my uh, someone once said, you know, your shelves have shelves. <laughs> uh, let me know if anybody gets that bundle code. Where's, uh, so we have, uh, after that one, I have two more. I have one more North American and one more uh, European. Yeah, new game room tour video is 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 happening. So you you talk uh, about in your video how bad the translation is in this, don't you? R return you know return to safe like, and sound. <laughs> there there is some like it feels like it wasn't proofread by an a English speaker. Mm -hmm. uh, Which it's weird although, though. You know, it would I, be I weird for it, it to not be done by an English speaker in the first place, though. In this day. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I went through and was kind of shocked that outside of the misspellings and missing of like entire missing words here and there, a lot of the script is very similar to the to the the Genesis one. Yeah, I mean, I, I would expect it to. So that's why I was surprised, like, you know, because like uh, I think of like Trials of Mana where they just used the Super Famicom script and then used the official Super Nintendo translation that came with a uh, collection of mana. Yeah. So I, I very much expected this to be kind of the same deal. Oh, she does like, she has like a little, little flip as she's falling, but I didn't, I was in the air for long enough. So what's kind of curious about this, and I didn't even realize it until uh, recently. So you can, the, the version of the original, it comes with this it's only available with the physical copy you can't buy it if you buy it digitally you don't just get it it's only with the physical copy mm. uh but <laughs> what what i feel about this though so you when you said you looked at it the other day you're like oh it doesn't look that bad i feel that it starts out like looking pretty good mm -hmm. but as you make it to about halfway through the the time that they took seems to like diminish <laughs> steadily just because I think that uh, I don't think that they like had the time or money they were just like they were given like a specific time that they had to release it and just like a budget and they didn't 
they were like not given any help. Yeah. That is the impression that I that I got from this. I mean, you know, I, I'm in some ways I'm kind of getting the same feeling from playing this on PS4 that I got from trying the demo for Dragon Quest 11 S on PS4 because it's, it's kind of like uh, it looks like strangely upscaled. Like, yeah, it's kind of like like, like like her specifically. Yeah, it's like, it's like, oh, like when I, I popped in the Switch version the other day and just like ran around the town a little bit. And I'm like, oh, I mean, I was actually playing on the Switch screen and I was like, I was like, oh, it's, this looks kind of nice. But then like now yeah. I'm playing it, the PS4 version on PS5 and my like expectations are higher, you know, whereas like Dragon Quest XI S on Switch, I'm like, man, this is a really good port. I am impressed. And then yeah. I see that same port on PS4 and I'm like, you know, come on. Like I, I already played a better looking version of the game on PS4, you know? Um, There was a $2 from Shadow Mask saying, I have $100 in my Steam wallet. What should I buy? Mm. You should buy all the Ease games if you can. Mm. If you don't have them already. Yeah, that sounds... Uh, maybe, uh, uh, you know, you should get the uh, Mushihime-sama. Oh, this guy's out of a job. You can save from the pause menu anytime. So wait, does... You, you can this... save any time. Hit does, start does... and hit R. Does, R I mean, uh... R2. And you can save anywhere. Oh, it's got so, a bunch of files. So is, yeah. does it ever save automatically or do you have to do it totally manually? No, you always have to save. Interesting. Because I, I, like, I would say that this, this, this game is really, really easy. I was actually surprised at how easy it was. There's only an easy and normal mode. I don't really even know what the difference is because I felt that the normal mode was really, really easy. The main reason it's so easy, and I say this in, in my video, is because in the original, you could only carry one potion on you. You know, like, you know, it re refills all your your hearts if you die. And in this, you can just carry as many as you collect. And the oh. game gives you a ton of them. And I think by the time I finished the game, I had max hearts, you know, max red hearts and max blue hearts. And I had like seven potions and enemies will only damage you for one heart no matter what i, I keep uh, wanting to also, crouch and use my sword could you not crouch and attack no, in the no original you press down to use your shield yeah was it that way in the original i don't remember yes so you can use the analog stick to just run i notice Yes. You you were saying were you saying last week that you could hold a button to run? The original version. Oh I wish they had done that with this. Yeah, because I'm noticing I still have to double tap if I'm using the D-pad. But right. the stick. Uh yeah, I mean it is uh it's it's real easy. And not only that, but the game gives you a ton of those life expanding stones. They're they're there's something like 200 of them in the game. And you only need like 160 to max out your hearts. I don't even know why they have the rest of them. Huh. There is a lot of things in this that I feel were unfinished. Because it, it tracks how many items you get per per area. Like if you got all the blue gems and stuff. And by the time you finish the game, like you lose you lose a uh, Pepe Lagu and you cannot, you can't get it. You don't get it back. And so you can't go back and collect those. So I feel like they were wanted to make it so that you could maybe do something to get Pepe Lagu back. But as far as I know, there's nothing. Or maybe they just integrated more things so that, so that you could get or max hearts even, even without Pepe Lagu. Because, I mean, Pepe Le Goo's form changes, like, constantly over the course of the game. But so. not really. Pepe Le Goo just gets bigger until, like, you lose 
until you lose Pepe Le Goo. But he like he ch like his ability changes over the course of the game too a little. But bit. nothing. But it's not in a way that affects your normal uh, navigation with him. Really, like, I, I thought you, I, re I thought you, I remember like can, I thought I remember my, I thought my memory was like certain abilities went away over time. I thought it was like that too, but it's not. It's like all it is is just things that affect are you, certain dungeons. I mean, are you like, basing you that on this off. version, or do you are you saying you remember that from the original? Because I thought I remembered abilities. I thought I remembered Pepe Le Goo, He he had some things, and then later they went away. That's what I thought I remembered. I mean, I thought that was the case too, but it's. I, I don't think it was. Uh, I feel like you can do things that are specific to dungeons, like you know, like suppress fire, and probably things where you like, you know, you could put them in that the hole to build up pressure, and you like as a platform. Um, oh, I gotta catch up here. So there was uh, two dollars from Willie Fister Fisterbum, Thank you. <laughs> and this kind of looked like Shante, and I think that. It would be more fair to say that Shantae looks a lot like this. Oh. I think it's like a direct influence. For I, sure. I, 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 I think I think the Monster World series in general is quite possibly the biggest influence on Shantae would be yeah. would be my guess. Especially in this one, like with its this it's a it's Arabian look to it, yeah. you know, like style. But, but you know, even just outside of that, like I, I would say Wonder Boy and Monster World in particular, and you, you and I were talking about this the other day, like that one is definitely the peak of the series in terms of gameplay. Like Monster World 4 is, I think, aesthetically the best one. And, you know, I just, I love how charming it is, but I, it's the, the level design, it, it's a much more linear game. This one? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, I mean, I, and I remember remember when uh, Naoki Hori was driving us back to the hotel. We were talking with uh, uh, Takayuki Komabayashi about Monster Monster World. He was like, he was like, yeah, I was really disappointed when Monster World Four came out because it was just so linear. <laughs> but I mean, I, I, I think it's I think it's I think it's a, a you know very good game uh, on its own merits, but. I do think that the more open design of Monster World 3 is is more interesting for sure. Yeah, Wonder Boy 5 Monster World 3. That, yeah. That's like definitely the best one. Although I would, like, as I said, I think last week, I think that, that Monster Boy is like the best one now. Oh, yeah, that's, I would say that's true. Yeah. Um, there was uh, $5 from from Alex Jones. Thank you. Saying, I love your channel and content. I have a new 1440p IPS monitor. Uh, what's better? Ooh. My Genesis on it via RGB. Uh, SCART OSSC or uh, RetroTink SCART 2X? Well, the, the, I mean, the, the RetroTink 5X, if, if you're willing to go all the way, you know, I mean, it's got that 1440p output mode uh, that I, you know, kind of demonstrated heavily in the uh, RetroTank 5X video. I mean, it's, it is absolutely ideal for, uh, uh, for uh, 1440p. Um, but I would, I would say, see, I kind of like how there's like a depth thing. I mean, that's, that's clever yeah. that they were trying to do that. You know, the way that you go in and out of the background works really well on this. And I'm I'm very thankful for it, especially even revisiting the the original, mm -hmm. because that, the castle is really really very tough. confusing. <laughs> but you know the thing the thing that it, it does not happen in this that kind of happens in the original is that it in a way it turns the overall town into a puzzle where you find like a lot of cool like little. Well, I thought the oh, were you area. saying the original like, did or, or this? Yes. Right. The yeah, the, the original, original did. Yeah, there was a lot of cool things to find. But in the, this, it's just like all one big continuous area. Uh, you can just like tell where you can go. Yeah, I mean the the um, 
the original was like the town itself was actually really interesting to explore, but the castle was just outright confusing. Yeah. I mean, I get it now, but yeah, I remember at the time it was confusing. Um, there's also $5 from Warren Hokey. Thank you. Saying, uh, uh, Microsoft has added an FPS boost to a lot of games. Any worth replaying due to a doubled frame rate? <sighs> I, I don't even know. I, I mean, uh, I, I, uh, I mean, the, the, the list is interesting. You know, one thing that would really confuse me at first was rise of the tomb Raider was on there. And I was like, wait a second. Like I thought, I thought that was a, uh, I thought that was a, uh, uh, I thought that was already an uncapped frame rate game. And uh, I asked John about it and he was like, oh, the Xbox One version was always locked at 30. I didn't know that because the, the, uh, the PS4 version was uncapped. So I thought it was going to run at 120 hertz, but it doesn't. So I was like, what's going on here? Um, I, uh, I actually just got, uh, the Xbox one version of sleeping dogs. Uh, cause I, you know, I'm, I'm not the biggest open world game fan, but that was one that I really did like. Uh, and, uh, and you know, the console versions were always 30 FPS, even, even the last gen ones. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's cool. I tried it out. 60 frames per second and sleeping dogs now. So that's really nice. Uh, yeah, I mean there's there's a lot of a lot of interesting ones on there, I think. Kind I kind I I don't I don't think I quite answered the uh, the other the previous question the way that they probably wanted me to. Like if if you if you don't want to go for the RetroTink 5X, I would say the OSSC is probably then the next best for the 1440p monitor because uh, 1200p will still look really good on. I mean, I tried, um, you know, if, if you, if you're, if you, I, I have an, I have an LG 1440p monitor. Um, I, I, and it, it lets me go into the menu and there's a saying that says aspect ratio and you can say original. That will ensure that it doesn't stretch it or do anything bad to it. By default, it was stretching. Um, so yeah, you definitely definitely want to do that. But if 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 you can, but yeah, the, the OSSC would probably be the best uh, if you the next best after the uh, RetroTink Five X. <laughs> So if you notice, you have the uh, the magical hit. Oh now. yeah. Oh, I have so to like I hit down, it while attacking. You you hold it down and press attack. It's like worthless. I mean, it did it, it did double damage, I guess. Yeah. Uh, there's also five dollars from EB Chill too. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, saying Sundays are usually my are usually bad days for me, but I really appreciate. It that they end on a good note with your streams. Thanks and take care. Well, thanks. Well, thank we thanks. we, we try to be consistent for the people that are looking forward to it, you know? Yeah. Oh, that's true. Like her animation just being completely in profile. That's what, uh, Shabe is saying should be a rule that for 2.5D games, a character should never be animated in profile. Yeah, you know it's weird, it, it but looks, I can I can I mean, see it, what you're. It look, it's not like great. What you're saying, like you know, what always weirded me out though was uh, in Final Fantasy V, like all all the main characters, like every Final Fantasy game that preceded it. Uh, are you know facing completely in profile but then uh Kryle, you know who doesn't join your party until you know at least halfway through the game uh like she's like kind of like she's like kind of looking at you you know <laughs> you know she kind of got that not 
profile view and it's it always creeped me out it's like all the characters are focused on the enemy ahead of them and Kral is like staring into your soul I don't know how I feel about it don't forget you have the uh, the down slash the down thrust and the, uh, the uh, I use them a little bit just not the, uh, the terribly down... useful in here Oh, look at look at this! You see, like you've already like gotten three hearts worth. Yeah, but see, look how her mouth is like moved, like kind of way off to the side when she's climbing the. Like when she's climbing up and down, she's a little less profiley, especially when going down. She really turns her head like the way that I think people are saying that it should be. But then as I climb up, look how she opens and closes her mouth, and her mouth is like moved like way off to the side of her face. There's two dollars from Warren Hokey saying, "Love tries John Carmack's voice in DF Retro." <laughs> <laughs> Did you even know about that? <laughs> I did know that you were doing that. Yeah, John mentioned it to me because he said he needed somebody with a unique sounding voice. <laughs> I, I I did I listen. I I, 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 I did, did listen to to John Carmack. Uh, a, a little John Carmack speaking before I did it, but I, I was, it was not my intent to like completely mimic his, his way of speaking. I tried to mostly just be myself, but I mean, you know, you want a nerdy sounding guy like that. I guess you could do worse than me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I had a little bit of a cameo. Like I, my name had a cameo, I guess. Oh, in the, uh, Oh, Oh, did I know that he, <laughs> I think he showed like a little bit of the downscaling video in today's game sack also. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> wow, the the shield blocks the that huge hit. I wonder if it does in the original. I, I don't remember using no, the I shield much. They can, they're a lot bigger in this. So do you have to manually use the elixir or is it or is it automatic? Well, you do at first, but then when you get Pepe Lagoo he just like it like feeds it to you. Oh. If you die. Uh, these are completely different. If you just like face the opposite way of the spikes, you can keep climbing. Ah. You couldn't do that. Oh, on your oh, oh. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, there's, I, I really just feel that they didn't, they were rushed and they didn't have any, have the money yeah. to do the stuff that they wanted to do with it. And I, I, you know, I talk about this a bit in the, in the video because for one, the game should absolutely, absolutely should never have been revealed when it was revealed. And that immediately put it at a disadvantage against everything else mm -hmm. or against the other games in the series. Oops. And ultimately, I think that this, like this game, it's, it's not going to, it's not going to hurt the momentum that the, uh, that the series had been building up. I just think that it's just like, people are going to forget about it. Yeah, I mean, I really hope that, I mean, you know, if, I mean, maybe they're, maybe they're bored with it, but I, I hope that the team that did Monster Boy is making another. <laughs> oh, I, no, I guarantee you that they are. Well, yeah, I hope so. And, I mean, that was a, that was a game that they, they took the time necessary, and I, I guess that they had, they probably had a lot more, uh, like a lot more of a understanding publisher, I guess. Mm -hmm. The you know let them take the time needed, but it it, it showed. Absolutely. I think it really made a big difference uh, in terms of. That. I mean, didn't they even redo a lot of the artwork, like a oh, year, yeah. like a year out from release? Well, I mean the the early artwork was extremely different and. Well, it, it didn't have the Wonder Boy connection at first, uh, officially either, and eventually right. it 
eventually they like it really did become a real Wonder Boy game. Yeah. Uh, there's two dollars from uh for love of the game. <laughs> Gives so, you uh, life. <laughs> saying what? What's your what's your favorite? The House of the Dead line and the House of the Dead line. The House. Mm. Of the Dead. Um. I mean, suffer like G did is always good, but that's so early, man. I I booted up. Um, what's this bean sprout thing? I guess I'll find it. It's out. just an herb. It just like refills three hearts or something like that. Oh. Um. But uh, I I I tried out a little uh, House of the Dead Overkill a few weeks ago. It is like. It's funny. It's it is. Funny. It is really funny. Like I only yeah. played a little bit of the first level, but it's like it. It like utilizes its grindhouse theme to like perfection. It's it is so funny. <laughs> um, I you, what you can do here is if you get her in a space where you're just out of her reach, you she, you can just stand there and she'll attack and oh you she can she'll never her. like move back. But like sometimes she'll move like every if you just you just you gotta stand still. Just stand and she'll hang on. You have to be, you have to like just be out of. Oh, out of I think. Reach. Yeah, there we go. And she, and she moved a little closer to me. Oh, but then you gotta go back. But I was able to almost completely kill her before she started moving. Well, oh, that that rainbow effect is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, but I, I don't know what my favorite would be. Probably two is, is probably the one I played the most. I, I finished oh, that's, that's nice Overkill. that they show you how many, uh, how many, uh, drop things you've gotten. Right. Right. But the thing is, is like they do that for all the dungeons and you can't go back and get the rest of them. Oh, I mean, it even lets you, re it, if you go to the, uh, the stones, the doors that take you to each area, it tells you how many you didn't get. Almost as if like, okay, here's all the items you have left to collect in the area. And it's you get a message that says, you won't be able to progress any further in this level without without Pepe Lagu. Do you, is that okay? Huh. It's like, well, well that, don't that's, even give me the option. That smoke effect wasn't bad either. Oh, we got a five dollars from from Chris Shawman. Thank you. Thank you. It says that now the E3 is coming up. What is your favorite memory of attending? Uh, I've not uh, attended, but you have. Right. But I yeah. Uh, I Chris went when I went, and he got to go the the year after. Um, probably my favorite part of that was getting to to meet. Victor Ireland. <laughs> and you know, he gave me a copy of Sylphie, the, the Lost Planet. For the PS2. Uh, I got my my picture taken with Borgen from <laughs> 2. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he can... So... On our, uh, like in the, on the, uh, the video game B-roll channel, there is, uh, a VHS from E3 2002 that I, like, uploaded a lot of the raw footage, and that was, that was Chris's tape. Mm. Didn't it get a copyright claim from, like, it, a, a it, Silent it, Hill yeah, 2 trailer? And, and the Metal Gear Solid, uh, 2 mm. trailer. So it gets it gets copyright strikes for those that like every time I've tried to do it, I <laughs> tried to post it anywhere. All right, we got one more Virtual Fighter Five Ultimate Showdown PS4 North American bundle code. Oh, we're only down going to into one. the chat. 
There's one more left. I'm going to give everybody a kind of a heads up for it. Because it's coming. So get, get your redeem code screen up. So on the in the original version, I don't think there's quite this much town to the to the left. Uh, there is, but you got to find like a, a way to get over a wall. Ah. It's like kind of hidden. There it is in the background. It's, it's the pee pee tree. <laughs> the, the, the pee pee tree? It's the, the, on the, uh, the PS4 version of the original, there's a. Oh. I'm, I'm going to get a platinum in it because literally you get the platinum just for playing through the game. Really? Yes. Really? It's like you get a, uh, a trophy for every single dungeon that you go to. And then you get, you know, if you beat the game. You get the platinum. There's, there's no like, collect all yeah, the things. Obscure, nothing weird. The... But there's one where you find that you find the, the Pepe tree, but I like to call it the pee pee tree. <laughs> it's, it's it's the pee pee log tree. <laughs> I, know I guess you could cut it down and it'd really be the the pee pee log, <laughs> <laughs> the Pepe log. All right. Here it comes. <laughs> Don't sell your your gold yet. Huh? I'll say don't sell your your gold your gold bars yet. Why not? Because you uh, every time you finish an area, the price that she offers for them doubles. Ah. Oh. And unlike the original, where your inventory could fill up with them, they just stack in one slot now. Uh. I mean, if you look at look at your inventory right now, how many how many elixirs do you have? Two, two. Yeah, I mean, that right there. They also got rid of armor. Really? Yeah, the bracelets serve the same purpose. Oh. So, functionally, it's the same. Yeah. I mean, I guess I can kind of understand why they did that, because it's like, oh, well, you can't... They didn't want to change her outfit. Yeah. Does, does her actual but bracelet her, her change? Do, do, well, her sword and shield do change, from what you see. Yeah, so it's probably like I mean I could I guess I can understand why they did that. Oops, I didn't. It's so weird that you like can't go backwards. I mean, right? I, I mean, but if you go all the way to the end of town, you can go all the way back. It's probably similar though to what they what they did with the uh, with the original. But see, like you could get on top of of roofs like from the same plane. Like there was right. really only a front side and back side, but they've got this weird like middle ground. I guess I understand why they did it for a 3D game, but well, if if you get if you revisit the the original like after you finish this, even if you just like spend a night playing it, Oops. it's it it's very clear. I mean, they make the the town has a kind of a puzzle element to it. Right. It's neat. I remember it being like kind of like oh, it's like kind of clever how it's laid out. Yeah, where you find passages and it's like, oh, you know, you just need to use Pepe Lagu's abilities mm. to find like new areas. Bearded man, all lowercase. <laughs> Beard yeah. man's son. You know, I didn't realize though until I played this that. Uh, 
you know, like that man that talks to you at the beginning of the game is her father. Like that was never clear to me. Yeah. What th what this game kind of reminds me of is uh, is the Sega Ages twenty five hundred mm. games. Yeah. It's definitely that Where, it's definitely that tier for the modern age. Yeah. You know, it just feels like ultra budget. Yeah. And uh, you know, an ultra budget remake that probably should not have been done 3D. What I was I was talking to somebody about earlier in in the week and I I mentioned in the video as well is that what they they should have done, and I think it would have been so cool, but it would, probably would have been expensive, is to do everything in the like the claymation style of the cover. Yeah, that would be cool. Like that, that would have been so cool. And a, and a very unique look for it to stand side by side with the, you know, the artwork in the, in Monster Boy and the Dragon's Trap remake. Yeah. Well, you know, that that's always something that I kind of think about, you know, with you know, the, the new Super Mario Brothers series, you know, like it, uh, they all, they always have this like super sterile look. Um, yeah. Whereas like the original, if you think back to the original Mario games, like they always had a unique art style, like per game, like, you know, they all look wildly different than like by the time new Super Mario Brothers comes out, it's like, okay, this is what Mario looks like, <laughs> you know? Uh, or, you know, something like, um, uh, something like, uh, Yoshi's Epic Yarn, like all of the, uh, other Yoshi games that came after Yoshi's Island, it's like, oh, we're just trying to do more or less the same style as Yoshi's Island, but it just never looked as good. And then Yoshi's Epic Yarn, it's like, okay, we're, we're going to do this like with our own, you know idea and it like it captured the spirit of the original because it did something different you know the other games were trying to capture the spirit of the original by just copying it whereas epic yarn is like it captured the, the true spirit of it by actually doing something that it didn't do by doing something unique you know what i mean and and they could have you know in that sense they could have really explored that that art uh, you know an art style like that, that would be different from the other Wonder Boy games, but it would, um, uh, you know, kind of stand out and add to it. But yeah, I mean, it would have been very challenging, I'm sure. Doesn't I mean, what, what's his name? What is, what's his name? Nishizawa. Doesn't he like own that that thing that was used? Yeah. For the box art shot. Yeah, I mean, I have. I show that in the video a little bit. Oh, right. That was from what's his face's footage, right? From, uh, from the um, untold history of. Yeah, yeah, Japanese. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's very clear to me that they they spent the most time on designing her character model mm. in this, like working on this, because I, I think that although her profile when she walks looks bad, uh, just her overall design, it just it feels so much more lovingly crafted, especially since, you know, like her little dance that she does, like when she opens the treasure chest. I mean, she just doesn't have one. She yeah, has like several. four different ones. And it's it's very clear to me that the, the person who was, was animating those was having a lot of fun. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just wish that... You should head to the castle now. You bring head to the to the castle. <laughs> See that time she like puts her hips on, hands on her hips before opening it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different ones. Is there any reason to jump while I'm behind the? Nope. How far into the PS5 or PS4 version are you? 
Um, like I, I finished the first, the Earth Temple or whatever. So you're playing it on. Um, you came well, to mean, see the, I, the the Pepe Tree too, eh? Yeah. The, the or the Pepe Tree. <laughs> <laughs> You can't even shake it in this one. In the original, you can, like, shake the tree. So, like, I can't even get out of this background until I go all the way over oh, here. Go, oh, no, go back, go back. I oh, right, here. oh, right here, you can't. No, you can from, like, the closer place. Why can't I hear By the though? end of the game, you should be, you can walk. You can. Why can't? Why, do I have to go all the way? Yeah, at this time, yeah. That's weird. Why, why can you do it later? I don't, because I think there's somebody, a guard standing in the way oh. that makes us go in and out of the background, but I don't know. I mean, I I really feel like there's just like a lot of stuff that is unfinished in this that they didn't have the time to do mm -hmm. or the time or budget to do. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the like, they just didn't have anybody to proofread the script. If there's like lines missing i mean the script is just like all over the place mm -hmm. and it i mean it could have to do with a, a lot of different stuff but i mean it, it makes me feel real real bad for them you're probably you just you should go and get your I, all the stuff that you're trying to do right now you can get once you get 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 the the pepa log <laughs> but there's a there's a thing up there but you can get it when you get when you get Peppa Lock. You can't you can't reach it until. Well, you get I, it. I mean, it's been so long since I've played very far into the game. I I don't remember the order of events all that well. If you go all the way left, this is one I just found today. I if you go all, all the way, way left, left. As far as you can. Yeah. You if you you'll see it up there. See what? In the tree. In the tree? There's oh, something. Oh, you already got it. What was it? There's a, uh, a little gemstone there. Oh, yeah. I found that. I mean, I don't so, remember it. I said it. earlier that, that this game is for, you know, it's, it's for the true fans. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, I think that the true fans are the ones that are going to be the hardest on it, too. Yeah. So. But. In a way, I kind of feel like. Monster Boy was was for the true fans. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a great game. It's it was it's like so good to in a lot of cases it just kind of transcended those true true fans and became much you know like much more well known because of it. But it, it's, you know, I'm like <laughs> spoiling a lot of stuff I say in the video anyways, but that's okay. That's all right. Um, I was kind of, I was telling you before the stream that I just was, I, the video is kind of like just kind of a throwback video where it's just me talking about the game and things I like about it, kind of reviewing it. But then I spend like five minutes at the end looking at over all the different options and stuff in the in the uh, original version that's packaged with it. So it gets a little bit of both. But a lot of the stuff that I do in the video is just me like comparing like, oh, this looks like this in the original. This is what it looks like in this. I think that people are going to be like, why did you even make this? But I think that like I can't can't let that you know like I just need to just do the video I wanted to make I just wanted to make that video and I would have been done a lot sooner if I if my son wasn't sick I think it's sick well spe speaking it's also of been a good way for me to bring myself back and to really I don't know just get more focused on what I need to do 
Yeah. But, but speaking of, speaking of, of the videos you want to make, uh, well, I can just walk in and out here. Um, you know, I mean, I, 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 I guess I can speak about this somewhat because they kind of mused about it in uh, this week's DF Direct anyway. But if, if anyone watched uh, this past week's DF Direct, there was a, a question from their Patreon asking about covering Final Fantasy fourteen, and they're like, they're like, uh, we couldn't really, we none of us know how to do that, but maybe try could. <laughs> Did they actually say that in the Yeah, the video? like John and Adi were like, we'd probably have to get Try to do that for us. <laughs> I got a message from Chris saying when we were talking about E3 and I was like, oh, here's my like here's my E3 badge. Oh, you, you sent me a picture of this. That that is pretty a pretty cool thing they put there. Oh yeah. And you can look at the you can look at Monster World, but it's just I think it's the same picture as the uh, if you go across the hall, go straight directly across. Through here, you mean? It's like the other side of this. Oh, you might have to go around around it. But if you go to the other side, there's a the, a picture from Monster Layer, from Wonder Boy Three Monster Layer. Oh, really? Yeah, not I'll Dragon Trap, but just like Monster Layer, as far as I can tell. But anyway, yeah. Uh, so that—that's <laughs> why I'm so exhausted. I've—I've I've been uh, like just like nonstop gathering Final Fantasy 14 materials all week. Uh, so I mean, that's—I mean, it's very much going to be like I think like you know a, a bonus Emblem episode, except it's going to be on Digital Foundry. <laughs> yeah. And and it's go. I mean, it's it, it's it's you know it's. Well, I say bonus Emblem episode, though. Like, I mean, it's, you know, it's got heavy frame rate analysis, all that stuff. I mean, it's it's going to look just like, a, you know, it's it's got their, their stuff on it. But, uh, yeah, it's, it, it, it is interesting. I will say that. It, some of the, some of the performance stuff is very surprising. Uh, so, yeah, definitely, definitely look forward to that. Watch it even if you don't think Final Fantasy XIV is for you, because you might look at it and think, oh, I too, like Try, don't have time to play video games. And Try plays it. I mean, all, all I really do is the main story. You know, I just continue the main story when I have time, you know? Yeah. And, you know, there's, uh, I think, a lot you can get out of it. Uh, there's 4.99 from uh, from Matt Matt Hargett. Thank you, saying uh, uh, even if this game is uneven, I'm excited for my daughter to have a game with playable characters she can relate to. Any other retro games for girls? Retro games for girls. I mean, there's uh, probably a real fancy star. I want to say it. yeah, yeah it's not really it's the same thing. I mean, but uh, kind of is. I mean. I want to say like Shantae, but I feel like Shantae is she's definitely not dressed as as uh, conservative, conservatively <laughs> as, uh, as Asha there. Um, How to hatch a pebble lagoon? Apply holy water to make the egg hatch. <laughs> Metroid Zelda. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean those are the, some of the obvious ones, for, certainly. Um, yeah. Oh, that yeah, Monster Lair. That's kind of kind of interesting. Oh, Shante has Shante pajamas. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Yoshi Story games. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's cool that your your daughter really likes Yoshi. Yeah, I mean, she doesn't play it now but but she, she likes yoshi now. as a character yeah
I forgot that Shantae Ultimate Edition had like a pajama, pajama Shantae. You know, I gotta be honest, I, I thought this castle was gonna be less confusing, but I think it's more confusing to me now. No. It's, it just goes around the outside and then you can go in and out of the middle. Okay, well now I'm a little less confused. I, I, I can see now that I can like just use the D-pad, even though it has the triangle. Uh, well, here you can. When you need to actually go through a door and stuff, you need to use the triangle. Right. But like whenever you get to these little icons on the ground in the castle, at least you can just run. I mean, they should have just given her, like, totally free movement here. You know? Like, totally free, like, analog movement. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, like, disable her jump if they were worried about that getting complicated or something. The pepalog. Let's go hatch you a pebble log. Get, yeah, take it to the big fountain. Right here. I like that it just uses the items instead of like you having to select them from your inventory. I feel like there's so much stuff in this game that is animated, like keyframed with no like easing on it. Mm. You know what I mean? Where things just move and they don't like, I guess, just use in the <laughs> Look at her mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a pebble log. That's just it. Don't forget to save your game. Well, I, I kind of like her run animation when she's carrying them. Yeah. Like she like leans back, you know? I like when when the pepalog gets real big and she has to like hold on to it from underneath. Like hang on to it. I don't quite remember what the original animation for that looked like. So now uh, I so can. So this part I can... right there with the with the all the sparkles and stuff, that part like really chugs on the switch. <laughs> well, um, the the switch version definitely struggles to reach thirty FPS most of the time. What what, what sparkles were you talking about? When you save your game, oh. and all the sparkles go into the into the jar. Well, yeah, I mean, that's that's why we ended up buying both versions, right? There's no way the 3D game was going to run that well on Switch, but the, you know, I, I feel like the 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 physical on cart. Uh, that's is, the real game. Yeah, that that's, 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 that's worth it. Yeah, it's, that's the that's it's the real game that you're you're buying it for. I'm sure you talk about it quite a bit in the, the video. Oh, yeah. I mean, I like the last like six or seven minutes is about that version. Because it's really well done. You know, I, I kind of want to. <laughs> Uh, I mean, shield is on down anyway. Right. I can't. I kind of want Peppa Lugu to be on R two. Oh yeah, I can see that too. I put I put Peppa Lugu on um, on R one and and also on circle. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's that's that's true. There's there's really no. 
Sword, it's just circle is just sword again, so why not put why not put the pepalog on circle? Oh. <laughs> the pepalog. <laughs> I can't stop calling it that. <laughs> I know, it's it's funny. It is. <laughs> the pepalog. It's even funnier if you don't think of it as being like Pepe, if it's like just if you think of it as like the peepee -pee log. I think that's even funnier. Okay, that's where you're going right there. Wait, did they announce an infamous four? Really? Well, someone's saying, Will Parker is saying infamous four sounds like a political push. Unfortunate. Did they announce it? It's so short after Ghost of Tsushima, I'd be surprised if they would have time to have something yeah. ready to show for it. <laughs> I mean, E3 is... I mean, I know it's not really much of an E3. Uh, yeah, E3? When is E3? It's like... It's like next week. <laughs> oh. Or... I Well... I think the week, I mean, not this coming week, but the next week, I think. On the 12th, so I guess. Oh, is it? Wow. Is it 12th? I mean, that's, isn't that when Ratchet and Clank comes out? That comes out the 11th. I, I didn't even realize that that was so close. Yeah, and I think Final Fantasy VII uh, is the day before, so... Yeah, they got a patch for importing your save game ah. into the PS5 version. Is that only like the second patch it's ever had? I think so. Yeah, it's like it's kind of amazing. I think like the disc code is really good. You know, of course, <laughs> now our best version of the game isn't going to have disc code at all, at least not the way we're going to be playing it. I could see myself like eventually. Uh, I'll probably get the DLC. Oh, I'm, like, oh, I'm right. definitely getting the DLC. And then I'll just like, you know, probably before, uh, you know, part two comes out. Uh, it will be like, maybe they'll release a physical version. Oh, I mean, they are releasing a physical version. Wait, but that physical version does not have the DLC in it. It, it just oh, has the code. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, like, I could see myself oh, getting for cheap a, uh, like, it just someday getting Final Fantasy VII, like, PS5 disc code just to own it, you know? Yeah, but I, I, but now, I right now, it's not. There's no reason to. It's not worth it right now. I mean, I'm not paying seventy dollars or whatever it is. You know, right? But of course, uh, part of the reason it's seventy dollars is because it comes with the Yuffie thing, right? But I mean, like, I, I just don't feel like a real need. I, I mean, I want to get, I want to play the DLC, but I don't need to get the. Oh yeah, I mean, copy. But I, I think that I, I feel like they're gonna. Before part two comes out, they'll probably release a version that has the DLC on disc, I bet. Uh, there's $10 from the, uh, the X, XODVS. Thank you. Thank you. Saying, please call me, oh, from Jake. <laughs> Sorry, I read your <laughs> name, right? Tell me what name to use. Uh, Ten dollars from Jake, saying, uh, "Have either of you encountered audio sync is issues when digitizing VHS using the Tink 5X? Uh, I already use a DVD recorder in the chain. Um, I haven't had a problem with audio sync with it, but I mean, I only was audio. really doing oh it audio sync, not just sync in general." Yeah, I mean. It's weird that it would go out of sync like that. A new firmware update just came out yesterday. Yeah, I, I I have not done the you you did VHS stuff, but 
Yeah. I mean, I didn't run into any I mean, issues where you don't need a DVD recorder in your in your chain, really. Uh, because it shouldn't it shouldn't drop video sync or anything at all, really. So I would I would take the DVD recorder out of the chain and see if that helps with that. Yeah, without that in there. I uh, try using the down. Oh, you're almost. Almost dead. Uh, use try jumping and using your downward slash. Why? Just because you can bounce over their head and land on the other side of them. Oh, the giant cyclopses, really? Yeah. Does it work in the original? A lot of times, if you hit them right, you can sometimes get like two hits on them before you like launch over. Them. The 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 down slash is the move of the game. You can really just make good use of it. Oh, I see. But it's not like they're tough normally. Right. Bomb. Um. <laughs> yeah. Final Fantasy VII Remake won't be finished until like 2030. I mean... Maybe. It's, only, it's just nine years. I feel like that's kind of generous. <laughs> I don't... I, I, I guess maybe I'm... That's only next console generation. Well, I mean, we don't know... We don't even it, know how many parts it's going to be, though. Yeah. But I the mean, thing is, they're, they're saying things up in such a way where it could be anything, really. Who knows how many parts it could be? Like, I don't think but they I don't know. Be, like, be so many parts that it's just, it's just gone on for so long. Yeah. Well, they probably, in some ways, they probably don't either. Maybe. If it's making that money, they probably don't care. Well, I mean, I'm talking about the dev team, though. So, here's something that I totally forgot you could do, and it took me forever. Uh, is you just, when you see the, the fire, the, the the lava fountains, just throw throw the uh, the pepe log at it. Uh, there's $5 Canadian from Sheldon Kelvin. Thank you. Asking any interest in Mighty Goose. Super cool metal slug style game with incredible art and music. Look I... it up if you have it. It's out. Oh, that uh, sounds pretty cool. Yeah, I haven't heard of that. And name, Mighty Goose. Oh, yeah. That, that seems a little familiar. It does look pretty cool. I do feel like the Pebble Lagoo is the best, like, pet in video games. <laughs> just looking? Well, just I mean, just pet. like, I mean, mechanically, too, because there's just so many ways to use them over the course of the game, you know? Yeah. Uh, this game, it does look pretty cool. I'll look into it. I like that you're, I like the care, like the, the goose's, uh, like bio picture in the upper left hand corner. Is, is it an actual goose or is he just called the goose? No, it's like an actual goose. <laughs> You're already using your magic hit more than I've ever used it. <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot that you three was even that close. I mean, I have no idea what to expect of it, honestly. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of Star Wars sequel trilogy talk going on in the uh, in the chat. Oh, yeah? On a, on a arguing about <laughs> it. It's like, 
uh, I don't know. I I'll tell you that I have no <laughs> no desire to like really watch any of them. Like, yeah. Ever again. I mean, um, I, I liked I liked the first one a lot, like when it came out, because like it, I felt like it was, it was good setup for something more, right? Yeah. Like it was it was a movie of that promised a lot of potential. Uh, and yes, I mean even still like, that think... that potential was not not lived up to. Yeah. I mean, I think about all of them, and I think that the only part that Does Pepelog has, block like, those? stuck with me, and that I think is, like, still, is like, is, like, the coolest part out of all of them, is when, uh, oh, you can use that, you can Pepe will block it, I didn't realize that. It's fireproof, I guess. Yeah, that's right. Is when, uh, uh, Ray and, uh, I can't think of his name. I forget his name. Kylo Ren, like team up against when they kill kill when he kills Snoke. Like that's like the coolest part of all those movies because that is like a cool like play like you know uh, diverting your expectations type thing. Like something happens and it, it would have been cool if it didn't just like immediately go back to them being like villain or him being a villain. <laughs> know it would like i just feel like that would have been really cool like something that people would never expect it mm -hmm. i mean that that was easily like the only part of those movies that i feel is memorable well that's the thing i mean they like they clearly had no plan of what to do after that i mean that's like like the whole thing is that <laughs> they had no plan yeah. and they should have had a plan. Yeah. <laughs> at least certain things like at least, uh, you know, plot points that they needed to hit, but it feels like they didn't have any of that stuff. Yeah. But I mean, like, you know, talk about the prequels. Like I, I feel the same way about the prequels. Like I don't, care about those at all either i mean and those were I've watched the original trilogy i've watched the original movies hundreds of times probably and i i have no problem just like watching them again and again because i don't know there's there's they're just there's, there's just a set of those movies that i can watch over and over again and you know and i love a lot of people who really like the originals don't like Return of the Jedi, but I mean, I love Return of the Jedi. Yeah, I've never really like, understood like, that. Walks, I just think that like, like the space battle at the end oh, is yeah. like the best space battle in any of those movies that ever happened. I mean, it's probably the best space it's battle of was, any like, movie that ever happened. Rise of Skywalker, they were trying to like have something similar with like the end of that, but it just like does not have that 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 shot with all the millions of ships showing up is not nearly as impressive to me as when like, you know, when it's a, a, a trap happens and they turn around, it's like all those TIE fighters flying. And like, I think that like that is way more impressive than, than that entire space battle and the in rise of Skywalker. I mean, I don't even, I don't even remember it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. You know, that's, that is true. Like rogue one, like, the last, like, 45 minutes uh, of Rogue One is, is super good. Like, the whole space battle and everything is so good. I, you know, I, I, feel like I, 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 liked, I feel like I liked Rogue One less than most people did. I mean, I thought it was fine, but... Well, you, maybe you should, like, revisit it now that it's, like... Honestly, like, I... I... Like I, I don't I think this is probably an unpopular opinion, but like I, I, I kinda liked Solo the best of the new Star Wars movies. Like the I I did not particularly care that much for the the actor that played Han Solo in particular, but like overall though I thought it was just like it was just a fun movie. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Ricky Diamond says, uh, Rogue One is, is the best thing to come out of this era. Uh, and it's and, and it's aggressively okay. <laughs> that's just that's a really funny way to way to put it. I like that. Um, I did know that the original was, or that Return of the Jedi was going to be Revenge of the Jedi. I think I first discovered that when there was some thing happening, like some comic convention or something like that happening at, at the mall when I was a kid and I saw a poster for it. Well, I mean, I feel like I heard that the Switch was only like, like weeks before it came out. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I mean, the, the space battle at the end of Return of the Jedi is something that they try to recapture. Wait, did you read that? Did you read that sign? It said, don't put anything into the hole, right? I, know, I just like that that's what it says. <laughs> like, don't put anything into the hole. Don't do so it. So what do you do? You put something in the hole. Pepe Le Goo is the Pepe Log is aggressively filling holes in this, <laughs> in this uh, dungeon, this volcano rather. You know, I, I kind of forgot that the like the plot of this game is like, like oh, Asha needs to go to the castle to get, be a warrior, and you go to the princess and she's like okay asha you're a warrior <laughs> yeah. that, that reminds me like talking about plot and stuff and talking about star wars is uh i like randomly watched like a portion of uh final fantasy the spirits within the other night for the first time in a long time and you know it's it it surprised me how much it's aged. I mean, that I'm surprised you're surprised. I, I don't know why. Like it, in my memory, it, it like I mean, it you really liked better. it when it now came out. It's like, right. You really like it, right? Oh yeah. I mean, I, I saw it twice in the theater, you know, like I, I really liked it. Uh, but now after not seeing it for a long time, it is, it's very clear to me, like why it did not do well, because you know, I said to you that the like the plot is basically nonsense, and it's like we got they... fi we got find the the MacGuffins that we have scientifically deduced exist. <laughs> yeah, but and you know, it's just it's like the uh, like the like the General Hein guys. Like, could they like telegraph a guy being like the main bad guy, like? By making him look any less evil. <laughs> I, I don't, well, I mean, when me and Drum watched that several years ago, like, we just lost it when there's that moment where he's like, he's in the, uh, I think. And there's he, like a big gun in the cannon and he dies. Like, well, no, he's, I mean, he's like in space, right? Yeah. At, at the end, he's like. He's, he's like going towards it and he's like floating through this like tube and he just like, he like pull, pulls himself inside and then his arms are like, he's just like slowly floating forward. And he just has this like really evil grin on his face and we just, we just lost it. We just were dying. <laughs> you just look at him and he looks evil all the time. Just, for the first time, it's like, who would ever trust that dude with anything just by, based on what he looks like? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I mean, the the actual plot and you know the conversations that they have is just like nonsense most of the time. Like I, but it just it just seems like you know I it's, it's it feel it feels impenetrable to anybody who didn't kind of have an idea of what they were in for, right? Going I mean, 
You know, I, I had no idea what the plot was going to be, but like I was so hyped for it. Cause like, oh, yeah. I, like it was the first time, like, you know, Square was, you know, I mean, it's, it's easy to not really look back and not think about it now, but like, I mean, they were the absolute leaders and, you know, FMV animation, right? And to have Square, the creator of Final Fantasy, the the uh, Nobuo Oi, uh, Oi Matsu doing the music. I mean, it's like the people who make the games are making this movie. Like, there was no way it wasn't going to be amazing in my mind. Oops, Pepelog. Will Pepelog heal me? Oh, man, yeah, many, yeah. many thanks to Pepelagoo. So, yeah, you <laughs> have to have that happen to get the trophies. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm, I'm having trouble getting through here. Oh, this is what, like, it's only the first boss, or the second boss, rather, but I mean... Eventually, you just get to the point where you can basically tank all the bosses because you have so much health. <laughs> oh, now I've kind of got her locked against this wall. Uh, but, uh, what were we talking about? Final Fantasy. Like, there's oh, no way yeah, that Final Fantasy Spirits could... within. Like, yeah. like, I was so excited. Like, I thought it was going to be the most... Like, I had no idea what the plot was going to be. Like, it just... It looked... Like, I was just like, this, this is like, it's just going to be amazing. Like, I just, I thought there was no way it wasn't going to be like the most incredible thing ever. And like, like two of my friends couldn't go see it at the same time on opening day. So like, I, you know, I bought tickets to, to see it twice on opening day. Cause I just like, I thought there's no way this isn't going to be the most amazing thing ever. And you know, like it, it kind of took me a while to admit and come to terms with like, you know, that wasn't really what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it was, it was good. Yeah, I, yeah it was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I, I mean, I think now that, you know, the expectations aren't there anymore. Like, right. I, I think I can look look at and appreciate it for what it is. Uh, well, but. yes. But I, I the thing I told you that that is stuck with me is because because it tried to be realistic. I think that made it age so much more. Oh sure. But I mean, you know, they, they were. I mean, I I, I know that a lo the people that worked on that movie, like they went on to do a lot of the other like really early use of like human CG and special like effects the, like the animatrix stuff. But that, I think that's all that square pictures did. Well, yeah, but I mean, I, I think like, I, I want to think like the first one or two Harry Potter movies, like they were brought in to like, uh, you know, do some like, you know, human CG animation. Uh, yeah. If I remember correctly, because, you know, they were, I mean, no one else had really done what they had done before, you know? No one else had done that. Yeah. I mean, it sure wasn't perfect, but it was, you know, it was, it was new stuff. But I, like, I, it's, it's pretty amazing the jump from uh from that to advent children which i think is a is a really good looking movie the thing that drives that, me that, that, nuts about advent children is that they uh visually is that they added uh they added these um uh scenes in the blu-ray that were made with like 
better rendering. Oh, right, right, right. And it's like really obvious that the new scenes look like better and it just does not mesh. Well, it's coming to, isn't that coming to 4K pretty soon? I wonder if they're going to re, if they're going to re render the whole thing. See, I don't know. I, mean, I, I doubt I mean, it. Seems it. Like they could be, be able to easily do that, right? I, I doubt they'd be able to easily do that. I mean, well, Pixar does that every time. I mean, who knows? I mean, you know, going back to the source code for, you know, video game reprints is, and remakes is always like, you know, kind of a kind of an issue. It, it very often is not possible. So, I mean, considering it came from a game studio, I don't know how well, I mean, you know, wasn't it uh, Kingdom Hearts HD that was supposedly not able? I, I feel like. But like that is different. I don't think it's different. They're both Tetsu and Nomura projects. I think there's just a lot more to it. There's a lot more moving parts, probably, in terms of the game. Uh, I don't know, because, you know, to be honest, I don't know that much about how I, you know, I, I remember I used to think that, you know, CG anime. So if, you, if you keep the material, if you can keep the materials for RGB 101. <laughs> For seven years, I think that Square could have kept theirs for for their feature film. For uh, but see, like less time than that. Honestly. I think they would have re-rendered the movie with that technology for the Blu-ray if they had that. I think they oh. would have. So I kind of don't think they do have it because see, here's what I wonder, and I you know I just I don't know much about how C CG movies are made, but like I used to think you know oh. Like each scene, like there is like a master file that gives you the final shot for this scene. Like all of the animation is like rendered into this one thing. And I eventually I started thinking, is that really how it works? That sounds like I, I bet, I mean, I, I don't know, but I, I just started thinking eventually I'm like, I bet that it's not actually all like, I bet that there are multiple renders. Like, you know, there's probably a pass on characters, maybe a pass on each character and pass on backgrounds. And it's all composited in the end. So I think I mean, you I would have to re-render multiple elements and recomposite it. And I think that would be a lot of work. Well, someone is saying that this is uh, it's supposed to be full, full 4K, not upscaled 1080p. This release. Well, we'll see. I, I did not think the Blu-ray, the initial Blu-ray of Avent Children looked that good, but I'd be curious. I'll be curious. We'll see. You know, the... It, like, I know that Pixar does that when they release it. They're like their movies on a newer format mm -hmm. but someone was saying i think someone was saying this was a uh, i don't think it's rendered just the, ma the master digital file was 4k from the beginning for theater release so maybe it's just that that seems like they would have downscaled that or just like you know made a 1080p version of that from that 4k version um, so the other thing I kind of talk about, I think I mentioned this to you last week, is that it's so annoying that the like every enemy that drops coins just like it's. I was uh, uh, tapping into my inner Tim Rogers when I explained it in the in, in, in my video where I say they uh, it's it's a literal geyser of money that flies out of them every time. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why they do that. I don't know. I mean, I guess it doesn't bother. I, I mean, I, I, I remember you mentioned it, but it, it doesn't particularly bother me, I guess. Well, you spend so much time like running back and forth trying to grab them all. Yeah. I'm like right next to this guy and like all those stones are like not hurting me at all. Yeah. <laughs> So when you look at this though, and if you were to look at some of the the graphics in the original of what this level looks like in the original, mm -hmm. like it's not even close. The original looks significantly better. Oh yeah, this 
You know, I thought the outside area of this volcano looked pretty good, like the when you initially get here, but like the inside is like, yeah, it's really blah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the other thing I, I noticed, I didn't really have a way to convey it in, in the video, so I ended up like cutting the part about it. But because of the zoomed in point of view, and even if things like, you know, even if like each part, like each corridor is the same length as it was in the original, it just feels so much more drawn out in this one because it just like takes so much more time to move through it. Is the field of view really wider? Well, it's it's zoomed in more. You it's, think everything's so? bigger. I mean, she doesn't look that big to me on screen, to be honest. But when you when you uh, compare it against the original, like she's a lot smaller in the original. But the and original it, but is a two fifty six like pixel wide game, so it's go, it's, like it's, it's kind of a chunky a game. What's that? It's kind of a chunky game though, because it's two fifty six pixels. You know. Well, if you. It just, it makes it feel like every corridor in this just like is so long without- I, I kind of suspect- uh, Like really long of, of nothing I, a I, lot of time. I kind of suspect that it is uh, actually the areas are larger, I kind of think. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't help it. Right, but I, I, I do think the scale is a little off. For sure. Uh, there's five dollars from Jonathan Hinson. Thank, Thank you. you. Saying I just finished Masters of Doom and loved it. About to, to start uh, Stephen Levy's Hackers. Anyone have any other video game or computer book re uh, recommendations? Mm. Hmm. I cannot say I do. Worlds of Power. <laughs> yeah, Worlds of Power. I, I used to. I, you know, I, I have no idea if these are all that well known or, or not, but I, I have these two books that I had from way back in the day. I wish I kind of wish I had them all. Cause I really enjoyed them back in the day. Um, I had some choose your own adventure Mario books. I think there may have been some Zelda ones too, but I, I, ha I have two of the Mario ones. They're just, you know, choose your own adventure books that are, you know, like, Mario World era Mario. They have like you know Yoshi in them and stuff, and the Koop Koopalines. I had I had I had, or I, I mean I have them uh, still. One, one's called Brain Drain, where it's like uh, Iggy like makes this like uh, brain swapping technology of some kind that go that causes people who hear the same thing on the radio to like swap bodies. Or something. And uh, the other is just desserts, and it like Bowser feeds Yoshi something that makes him like eat Mario, and like Luigi has to go inside Yoshi and save him. And it's like it's kind of like almost like oh, it's 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 almost like what became Bowser's inside story if you think about it. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it was. I mean, I'm pretty sure that these were like American written books, you know, just additional material to sell. But uh, but yeah, I mean, so it's hard to hard to imagine that it had an influence on what the devs in Japan did. But who knows? Yeah. Uh, there was five dollars from Red Ranger saying, "Overall, I really enjoyed Asha and Monster World. Could he, could have used uh, polish in places, though." Yeah. Um, I mean, I think that that's it's it's all right. I mean, that... is I think what I say in the, in the video, like it's all right. Yeah. Uh, it could have used polish in a lot of places. It probably could have used another year of development. Absolutely. I mean, I think we yeah, heard I, that, you I, know, I, they were maybe rushing it a little bit for some reason, which but they, they, and they, they didn't have need to. They didn't, they didn't, there was no reason 
to rush it, you know? Yeah, exactly. There, there's no reason to ru rush it. And I, unfortunately, I think it's all it's going to do is... All I think it's going to do is just, like, is slow the momentum the series has gained over the last decade and a half. Which is, like, I in its... It's really I mean, inexplicable said, that like it, that has even happened. Like, right? Who, who even thought that this series would get like kind of the little fan revival? Or and really not just that, but like games like Agalos and stuff. Like you've just got this sort of fandom that's come up around uh, this series in a sense. You know? It's true. It's true, and. Like that's, I think, is like, is the most unfortunate part about it is that I I don't think this is going to damage like the reputation it's built up. But it's not going to do anything. It's certainly not going to do anything to help it. Mm -hmm. And I think that in the long run, you know, I I hope that you know the original team that worked on this get a chance to to do a follow up. And they're given as much time as they need to, need to make it, or they at least they work with, you know, the the Monster Boy team to mm -hmm. like, you know, like because, I mean, I can just, it's been out a few years now, but like there's a if you get a hundred percent in Monster Boy, it kind of teases Asha at the very end of it, mm -hmm. like in a hidden ending, and it seems like what they had the opportunity to do here is to try to do something you know to connect it maybe a little bit or you know put something in in here to uh you know allude that it could have something to do with you know, monster boy monster boy too you know and just make it all work together because now i'm i'm afraid that like Nishizawa gave, you know, his blessing to to make Monster Boy an official part of the series, but now he had the chance to make this, and now he's going to be like, actually, you know, I don't want Monster Boy to be an official part of the series anymore. Well, I mean, he, he, he can't entirely put the uh, put that, you know, back in the bottle. Right. That, I think that's what I'm most nervous about that because well, I don't know why you would think that I just get afraid because like <laughs> you know when he he wasn't really involved in Monster Boy besides you know saying it's okay to use the characters no I probably saw how good it was and yeah it probably gave him the itch to do his own thing again. But, yeah. you know, he was probably only able to do, you know, just, he probably only had the budget to do, like, you know, kind of a cheap looking 3D game, you know? I yeah. Mean, I, I'm sure that, I'm, I mean, I don't know, but I mean, I would expect doing sprite art at a high level is more, or not sprite, but, you know, hand drawn art at a high level is more expensive than oh, 100%. doing 3d because I mean, 3d is what everyone does now. So it's, you know, it's, I'm sure years and years ago, 3d was cheap and, or 2d was cheap and 3d was expensive, but I'm, I'm sure the, the reverse is true now. I would, I would think unless, right. unless we're talking like literal, like retro style games, you know, that's probably another, probably another matter, but, uh, I don't know. I, I think it's going to. I'll be interested to see if he gets an opportunity to make another one. Because I, you know, I want him to. But I, I mean. I want it to be a lot better than this. I, I, I want it to be not. I want it to be more memorable than this. Well, you know what he should have done is he should have, you know, let M2 make an original game like uh, like they did with the rebirth series, you know, cause I know they are super passionate about wonder boy. Oops, yeah. I missed uh you said that there's more blue things than you actually need. Cause I just missed one. 
Huh? Yeah, I mean, there is... On your inventory menu, it says that there's 200 in the game. But you only need about 160 to fill up all your parts. Ah. So there's 40 more in the game than you need. And the uh, it, you don't have to get literally all of them to get the platinum trophy? Oh, I'm not talking about the platinum trophy in this. I'm talking about the platinum trophy in the original version. Oh. Yeah, I'm talking about the the version of the original. It has a platinum trophy, but the trophies are only like plot progression stuff. I see. That's uh, there's two dollars from two dollars from Shadow Mask. Thank, Thank you. you. Saying uh, uh, should Final Fantasy VII remake is it integrade? Uh, uh, integrade inter integrade is the is the, the DLC, is, right? no. Intermission. It's inter. I think it's intermission. I don't know if it's integrate intermission, or if it's just uh, intermission. Intergrade nice. is the full. Is the, you know the, the main game. Integrate is the DLC. Uh, should should Final Fantasy VII remake Intergrade or intermission come to PS4 now that God of War Two will be? I mean, is that it's it's a little weird that it's not. Uh, in, the intermission is not coming to PS. Uh, yeah, say. It's, it's, it is weird. It's not coming to PS4. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. Save your game. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why they're not doing that. I, I do think that's that's kind of strange. Um, I I think it should. The the thing though is I, I'm I'm disappointed that God of War is going to be cross gen i mean you know i you know hey i get it you know ps5 expensive you can't get it you know but eventually most likely you will have a chance to get a ps5 you know and yeah. you'll be able to play that game there you know at that time and i i think it's i, I think it's a shame for god of war in particular because you know i i don't know if you really paid that much attention to my, my, my critiques of it since you haven't played the game yourself. But, you know, like I, I kind of said like, oh, I, I liked it, but I didn't, I didn't love it. Um, I, I felt like, I felt like this, it's, it's almost set up to have a better sequel than a first game because you know, the, the whole idea of the game as one continuous shot is super cool, but trying to do that on a system like the PlayStation 4 that, you know, loads data slowly, has, you know, a mechanical drive, slow CPU, uh, I, I feel like the way that they did that, it's like very obvious where there's all these points in the game that's like, Oh, you have to like slowly lift this gate or slowly lift this rock. And then you have to, you know, go through this narrow, squeeze through this narrow passage and then go over this ledge. Like, it's very obvious to me that there's so much of the level design exists only to fulfill this like conceit of a, uh, dang, of a, you know, completely seamless game. And, you know, that was cool, but like, I also feel like, you know, you release this game on another platform in the future and it's though it's never going to those plotting points in the game's design are never going to get any better because like the loads are baked into the, 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 the design of the world, you know? Mm hmm. So I, I was like, well, I think the the new game is going to be the sequel is going to be so much better because it'll be built around the SSD. You won't you'll have much tighter, better level designs and the areas. And that was like, oh, you, like there's this whole like super drawn out process to travel between the realms. And you don't get to go to all the nine realms of Norse mythology, but you go to some of them. 
And there's this huge drawn out process where you have to like, you run down this long bridge, you open this door, you run through this room, you open another door, you go up this ramp, you open another door, then you're in this big circular chamber, and then you have to like, slowly turn this crank so that the this machine points toward the crystal for the realm that you need to go to and then you need to take out this gem or something I don't remember what it was you t you have some item that you jam into the thing and it's all and then you know there's all these flashy effects and then you know, it's like, oh, hey, we're in the realm. But spoilers, you're not actually in the realm yet because the PS4 still has to load it. So you have to run through the room. You open the door. You run down the ramp. You open the other door. You run through the room. You open the other door. And then you're in the other realm. So, like, it's just, like, all this really tedious stuff that is only there because it's on the PS4. And I was like... Oh, it's going to be like Soul Reaver or something where you like instantly go between worlds, right? Yeah. But, you know, now it's kind of like, oh, unless they make the PS5 version or the PS4 version kind of like a bad experience where it's like, uh, where it's like, uh, like, you know, like, oh, it just like freezes and has to have a little load or something, you know, when you're traveling. Like, they're not going to be able to do anything cool like that. And that wouldn't that, like, that would just be so much better if you could just like instantly traverse the realms, you know? Oh, here it comes. Yet. I I'm I glad it. came. <laughs> I, I, you showed me that screenshot. Yet I'm glad came. <laughs> I don't remember this guy at no all. No one crosses us. Oh wait, not nah. okay. I remember him now. Um, there's a five dollars from Mega X Six saying uh, of the Monster Boy games currently available, uh, which would you recommend to start with? Just curious. Um, someone said Wonder Boy and Monster Monster World on the Genesis. Um, that's the one I start with. Yeah, I mean that's that's a good one to start with. But I mean, I think that you could just start with with Monster Boy if you wanted to. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely I mean, the most, I mean. You should play Monster Boy. You should just play the, that one. And if you like them, if you like it, then play some of the other ones. I mean, if that one's definitely by far like the most complex and fleshed out. So, I mean, that I, might spoil you to some monster extent, monster. but. It's also, I think the most accessible. Oh, I mean, ab absolutely. I mean, you know, I mean, I was going to, I mean, I don't know, maybe not. I was, I was going to say, uh, I was, I was going to say, uh, the Dragon's Trap remake, which is really pretty, but it's like, it's like, I, I, I don't a hundred percent know if this is true, but like, I've, I've heard that it's, that the, the game is really emulated. Yeah, and, I mean, it's and to the original version. And but it actually, it emulates it better than the original because the other, the original only runs at thirty frames per second. But that's right. Yeah. So it, I, I've heard that it's ba like the, the the game itself is like actually emulated, and the, it's just got this like gorgeous art laid over it. Uh, and uh, and like so. And it, so that's really cool, but um, the Here's your magical the, strike. The the downside is that it's um, it, it, it you know it's it's pre obtuse. It's you know the original is very obtuse, and mm -hmm. and so is so is is that that version of it because it's it is extraordinarily faithful. Uh, there's also 499 from Andy Jeffers. Thank you. Saying, uh, asking, are either of you going to get an N64 digital? I'd love to see you guys do a video on it and compare it with the Ultra HDMI. Uh, that is absolutely. That is absolutely happening. Dan, Dan has actually been holding on to an N64 of mine for months uh, for it. So 
Uh, yes. Uh, we're we're hoping we'll have them relatively soonish. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that that is. Uh, I mean, there's a good chance it could be the next video on the channel. I mean, you know, I, I kind of hate the Analog Frontiers Part 4 has kind of had to be on hold for a lot of, you know, well, it had to be on hold for the RetroTink 5X, and it's had to be on hold for several freelance projects and stuff. But, but I mean, as long as they're all out before the end of the summer. Yeah. That's all. But, I mean, that's only three months. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's... Uh, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be tight, but uh, yeah, I, I I think we'll manage. Things have just been things have just been really crazy these past few weeks. Uh, we don't have an H Ultra HDMI version 2.0, so it'll just be I mean it'll just be based on what we know about it. I mean, I, I think I heard that Ultra HDMI 2.0 behaves exactly the same. Um, but it it just I th there's something to it, and I I, I did some research on it because I I kind of started like a little bit of an old Ultra HD or uh, N64 yeah. digital script. Um, you know, just based on what I could write without testing it, you know, and I, I looked up something about the N64 digital, but it's, I think that it gives some ability that makes it more flexible, but I, or it has like an optional RGB module or something like that. I think, but I think that's about it. I don't think that it actually performs any differently as far as I know. Still, Pebble Lagoo S are so darn cute. Yeah, this. Oh, okay. I do have two gold bars. Um, I won't buy them. Sell them yet. Suspicious man. I remember the Kimmel guy gives you something eventually. Oh. Oh, I see. Hmm. I mean, I probably would get them all eventually, right?
All right. What I missed? Uh, not much. I got I got the next got medallion. Nice. And I bought the first bracelet. Like, I mean, I, I could sell my gold bars and uh, and have bought the second bracelet. But I figure, like, well, I probably want to get them all anyway. Uh, the bracelets? Yeah. Um, Actually, I only had used this bracelet until I got the last bracelet. Oh, really? Because you get so many blue hearts. Yeah. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, there's almost never any reason to upgrade your bracelets again after that one, that first one. Um, with the you can, with, sell, you with, can sell your gold bars though now. I know, but you said like wait until later because their price goes up. I mean, just I would I waited until after the first dungeon. Oh, uh, well, I didn't even selling. I didn't have she, I don't think I had it first. before that. Um, I think you have like three of them. I have two, I think. Uh, so, is I mean, is Thunder Shield good problems. for the next area? I don't remember what the next area is. Uh, I don't remember. I, just, I bought them both. Well, I, I only want to buy one for now. Thanks, uh, CS. The next one is the... Uh, it's the, the sewers. Was, 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 was that meant to be Gracias? <laughs> oh, is that... A I, don't know. It was it was very weird. <laughs> Maybe I will sell my gold. Yeah, that's I mean that's what I ended up doing. Cause I want to buy more stuff, so. <laughs> and she says I'll give you a thousand each, and you gotta sell each one individually. Ricky, Ricky Pond is saying, so how is this game? I'm guessing all right, just not as good as the original. That's yeah, exactly that, true. That is very accurate. Oh, 150. Oh, is there, there's a max oh, coin. She only did. She only that. bought one. I guess only you only sell one at a time. Yeah, so you can sell the other one later. <laughs> oh, but I, I may as well get that that sword. You can use my, my magic hit more often. Let's do it. You get that sword, and that I think that was like sword that I may have gotten, or maybe I got one more. But I bought all the shields. I have no idea why this guy went behind when he at first was behind he got, a, he got his own Pepe Lagoo. Oh, so all he cares about is Pepe Lagoo now. Yep. I mean, if you ask, is he talked to his wife? Yeah, she said uh, something. Yeah. And, you know, after each dungeon, it becomes like more less and less interested. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, Rears the Blood says, honestly, the remake is a bonus for me. The real treasure is the original on a physical cart. And that's that's exactly it. Yeah. Can, can I go to the Pepe tree now? Yes. The, the, the PP tree? Yes. He's got to get the little... He's got to power up himself. Yeah, I mean, you know what would have been an interesting thing to do is to uh, to do a comparison where you show how long it takes to get from one end of the town to the other between the original and this game. I mean, you can't do it, though. You can't just, like, run. It's multiple screens, and you have to, like, jump and to get no, to the... No, it's not. Look. No, in this one... Are you talking oh, about the multiple versions? Like well, the okay, the version original or... it is multiple screens, but I still think, I mean, I still think that would be fine. You could do that. But you have to go to the castle in the original, and then you have to go to, you have to go back to the castle and then go left over a big wall to get to the Pepe tree. No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm not talking about the Pepe tree. I'm just talking about going left to right in the front plane of town. Like, I'm just saying it might have been interesting. Uh-huh. <laughs> Watch this animation. <laughs> it, the voice acting is so funny because they just reuse this same voice of her of her going, Pepe, Pepe, <laughs> <laughs> and like towards the end of the game when when Pepe gets really gets hurt really bad, she's like like holding him and going Pepe. Pepe! Pepe! <laughs> it's like just the same sound clip over and over and over again. <laughs> you know, it's really interesting that you, you said that there's no way to buy the original version digitally, right? It, it's only the, the download code. As far as I know, yeah. Which And it's really weird on the PS5 to even access it. You have to select the, ga the game version. You can't even download it. I mean, it downloads separately. But from the menu, you oh, get to like... really? Yeah. Just like with like Final Fantasy fourteen, like you can choose the PS4 or the PS5 version. Right. That's cr that's crazy. That's weird that 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 it would group them that way. Well, it's only like that on uh, on the PS5, but on the on the four is its own menu item. Yeah, I downloaded it on PS4, but I haven't done it on PS5 yet. Maybe I should, should do that at the end of the stream. So I was telling you about that. I see someone said something about a audio commentary, commentary or something like that. Uh, I told you about like the idea that I had that I'm, I've been doing with with OBS, like recording footage. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you can make like a second audio track so that it doesn't like interfere with the game audio. Mm -hmm. But what I've like started doing is just turning on my microphone. You can turn it on or off and it just like make notes of things like on an audio track. Like if I see something, I just like, I, you know, I can, you know, or, like, say something, or, or just like, just like or like even just like have like a like a sound effect all i need to do to like find certain points of interest in a mm -hmm. maybe a long video like a long recorded clip is just look for the look at the waveform or if it's a short one um you could um if it's a short one you could uh you could just be like you could say like okay this is what version it is like so you don't have to like, you know, because something I with comparisons, yeah. for comparison, because see, uh, something I do a, a lot, which I mean, it's not 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 great, but, you know, I will oftentimes 
you know, especially when I'm like just getting, you know, last stages of a project, you know, all of my G roll goes in one folder. I, I record it, I put it in, I know what it is at the time. But then, you know, maybe, you know, later you, you ask me, it's like, do you have already have any G roll of, you know, this device, this console or whatever. And I'm looking through my folder and I'm like, I don't know how this was recorded. I don't know if this represents the frame oh, right, or I don't know right. if this represents yeah. the, the super NT. I don't know if it's the mister. I just don't know what it is. You know, I don't know if it was RGB or if it was HD retrovision, you know, I just don't know. But now you could do that, but you could so, do that if you were doing that. It's, you, and I, mean, I store everything by video signal and like in console, but a lot of times like, Oh, I don't know if I use the OSSC or if I use something else. Right. I mean, what I've been, what I've been doing lately though is I've I've been trying to do, you know, in the past year or so, whenever I'm doing a video that has comparisons, I've tried to make the comparisons basically first. In fact, I sometimes make the comp I've even gotten to where I'll make comparisons part of the script writing process. Like I will after the script is written or even while writing it, I will make, you know, in Google docs, I'll make a comment. I'll highlight a certain area and I'll make a comment and I'll say, you know, OSSC, uh, five X versus retro tink five X, you know, um, or, you know, frame Meister 1080p versus OSSC four X versus retro tink 1080p over, you know, and, and so I'll, I'll write all that out and I'll, I'll even give them letters, you know, comp A, comp B, comp C, comp D, whatever. Um, and uh, what I've been doing. Oh, God. So so I've been doing that. And then like the first thing I I do is uh, make the comparisons and then the comparisons are mostly done before I go in and, you know, start. That's something I run into a, a problem with a lot of times is that you make assumptions and then you write yeah. about it and record it. And then your comparison says something else. Yes. Like you, you, you look at it and you're like, okay, this seems like it is this way. And then you're, and you're really confident. In, and then when you do the comparison, it's like, oh wait, there's actually something else to it that I didn't know. I didn't understand when I wrote this. Right. Yeah, that, that happens too. So I, I, I've really made it a point to just get the comparisons out of the way first. You yeah. know? Uh, I just jam on triangle as you're walking front and by the pillars. Jam on triangle? What's triangle do? It's like, it says there's a secret hidden behind one of the, oh. the pillars. So I just walk past them because you can't see when that. Oh, weird. What? I mean, it's. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if I mean, that's clearer in the original version or if the translation just makes well, it, it a little more apparent. Behind it and you need the, yeah. the button to make something. I show literally up. just missed all those coins that were straight down. <laughs> <clears throat> but that is, uh, you know, it's, it's like a, an interesting way to keep track of everything. And I think that. I'm excited by the idea because a lot of times, uh, and I guess doing this video is what made me think about it, is just, you know, there's a lot of times where there's something in there and it, and it takes me forever to find it. Yeah. But yeah, see, I, I, I've really been, been like, I've really been doing I've been that. I've doing the interval recording stuff. Yeah. And the thing is, like, I think I do the interval recording stuff different than you do because I do it all as, uh, I just have uh, OBS pause. So it pauses for like five minutes and records for three minutes, pauses for five minutes. And I have it <coughs> generate like a 20 minute clip before it makes a new one. Mm -hmm. And each clip contains like different parts. I mean, I, I think it really depends on, you know, what, you know, are you, what, what type of game you're playing, whether it yeah. makes sense to do it one way or the other. Uh, Daniel uh, Castella says, man, this level looks so different in the remaster. 
I, you know, I don't, think, I don't think call it a remaster. I mean, it's, it's a remake or a re-envisioning, yeah. reimagining, or something. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it. I believe it. I don't know if it looks as good. Well, of course it doesn't look as good. I mean, the, the um. The uh, the thing though, this is like I, I I remember that you know the, I remember the first level was the volcano. I remembered that uh, I remember that the third level is ice and the fourth is like clouds, right? It's like a casino type place. Right, but then like I remember like the boss was like up in the clouds, sort of, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember that. Oh, yeah, I remember it as being the casino. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that now. But, like, other than that, like, I I could not remember what this what this level was. I just, and it's still not ringing a bell. I just do not remember this part of the original game. Wow, that is not great, like, oh, she's wet. Like, they should have just not done it at all. Like, isn't that terrible? Yeah. Uh, ABO Hiccups is asking, if we're planning to make console digital mod kit series, like DC Digital, PS1 Digital, N64 Digital, yes, that is absolutely the case. Wait, what? Um, are we planning on making, like, uh, console digital mod kit series? Oh, you mean, like, yeah. I mean, kind of what I, kind of what I envision doing for, like, PS1 Digital is like I'd, I'd since we've waited so long as it is, I'd kind of like to wait until the motion adaptive deinterlacing is available on it, and and then make it kind of like a, you know, kind of a video about like you know that is more like you know what does PS one playing on PS one consoles look like in twenty twenty one or you know whenever it is that. That, that we can we can do it um like and so then you've got this like situation where you've got like you know the quote-unquote ultimate ultimate uh ps uh ps1 you know you've got the N the ps1 digital in it you've got the x station in it you've got a mem card pro i mean ps1 is like in a tremendously good state right now yeah Yeah, I, I mean, at first I was like, oh, when we do this N64 digital I can video. I absolutely cannot stand this, like, sloshing thing. It's like, it's like so far behind her when the puddle forms, and then the puddle, like, spits it out with this delay. Like, it, it is just, like, the most bizarre effect. Like, like, if I was the game director, I would, like see that and I would be like no let's just not even do it like look it's so bad cut it <laughs> yep is, is Peppa Lagoo a bucket Peppa Lagoo is not a bucket no See what I mean though? They just like give you those gems like crazy. Yeah, I mean, I I honestly don't remember enough about how they're done in the original. No, I mean, they are they're much more, more harder to get. But I mean, look at these. I feel like it it they didn't have a chance to balance it. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, based on compared to what you've said, I mean, I, I've I've found the bosses to give me a little more trouble than I expected. I mean, not that I died though, you know. Right. But I mean, you can see yourself getting stronger, and if, if enemies only ever do one hit point of damage, no matter what, I mean, you start to see how you can just like tank through them eventually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
as just by on virtue of you like lasting longer than they do. Yes, fire does block. Yeah, but but Peppa Log can't do anything to that fire. It's like, <laughs> why not? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, how come he can do anything else with fire? And didn't, didn't it say earlier, it's like, you know, the the PP Log likes fire, but how come he can't do anything about that fire? It's just so funny that. He's become like the the Pepalog just because of the mistranslation from that. The EGM. It was, it was EG or no no it was Game Fan Game Fan. Yeah. Gives you life. Those are new, right? No. Really? They're in the original. I don't remember them. What's really also really funny is that you get. <sighs> For some reason, I thought the genie was like a more important character in the original, but he's really just. He's just your teleport. Barely there. He's barely there. Now he's like on the box art and everything. Yeah. I mean, for this, not. It's like, how come. How come the, uh, the, the Pepalog can blow that out? That's just a shortcut. Oh. Wait, there's a treasure chest. Oh, there's there there's bucket. But it it, it does feel like they all, they put more care into her opening treasure chest <laughs> than anything else. Yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta fill it up. I thought it. I thought the point of, uh, with that water was before that fire. Uh, I have not played Blasphemous. I have it. I think I've played what? Version. Blasphemous. Oh, is, is that that? No, what is it? Is it is that is that that's not the game with like the there was a download only game for a long time that had like it was like kind of like a Devil May Cry Bayonetta esque combat, but I think it was oh, no, no, no. What, what am I thinking of? It was um, like on the PS. It's, it's like one of those PS3 download games that is popular. Um, I had a ma ma malicious. Right is that the one I'm malicious thinking of? Malicious through that. I think that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta fill that bucket. Why can Peppa Log not be bucket? Right there, you just want your okay. I don't know. There's there's some like little things in this that just you 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 accept them because it's an old game, but then it doesn't like make sense in other ways. Like there's this whole thing when you have to like and do this quiz. With like the uh, the Sphinx. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you answer incorrectly, he opens a trap door, and you go you go into this pit, and like she has to get down and wash her face, and like go up and try again. And he's like, "You wash your face now. We'll try it again." And it, like just makes no sense, really. Like why that's even happening? Like why she needed to wash her face? Is is that in the original? I think so. But it's just one of those things that, you know, if it if it probably was in the original and it's just something I guess you would accept because it, you know, it, it doesn't need to make sense. Sure. Video games don't you know, need to make you know, sense. 
Yeah. But in the in here it's kind of like like I don't I don't understand like, why <laughs> why does she need to wash her face? Oh well, washing your face feels good sometimes. Yeah. Maybe maybe maybe, it, maybe it's like some reference to some Japanese game show. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's what uh. Joshua Helmick is saying, maybe it must be a Japanese thing. Uh, she's washing the shame away. A culture thing. Ha. Huh. I feel like they could have just said something in the translation that to explain it maybe uh, it could have been better translated but i mean like if they didn't i mean there's action. zero effort that went into the translation though so yeah well i mean i don't i don't even think it was any effort i don't think it was proofread by any by an, a native english speaker yeah it sure seems that way Oh, I can I can fill bucket again. Heck yeah. I mean, you know her her animations that she does when you know she, at various points of the game, like when she fills the bucket and you know has it overhead, and when she uh, when she you know is is excitedly watching the pepalog egg hatch, like you know there, there's a lot of certainly on her character at least a lot of nice little animations yeah well i mean that's, a lot of personality that's I, yeah exactly i think that that's that's where all the care like went into i think like there there is definitely whoever was animating those was very ha talented and and, and and you know and, and the pebble lagoon is good too i mean i i like how he looks yeah The, the the backgrounds are definitely weak though. Yeah. Uh oh. What? Well, I didn't think that was going to be falling. Oh, is it boss time? No, I just I I thought I I, I went back. But I didn't want to. I mean, it is interesting though what they did with like the three D in and out because like. I guess in that sense, I can understand why they wanted this to be a 3D game because it it does kind of fit with the original game, really. And it makes some things make a little more sense. You yeah. Know? Um, I see that, uh, that Akiyama Riki is saying, other than the lower frame rate on the Switch version, having the original Monster World 4 on the car is worth the trade-off. No scrolling shimmer. Yeah. And that's true, except if you like, there is uh, some weirdness if you put it on the the one to one pixel aspect ratio mode. But you won't put it on four three display aspect ratio. Dar and then and turn and put it on crispy crispy scaling, and then you're like you're set. Then there's no shimmer or anything. But I think I think the uh, the pixel aspect ratio, the one to one pixel aspect ratio, is broken. For one thing. Uh, even if it's not broken in what it's doing, it's broken in that you cannot uh, change the mode, uh, the the scaling mode. So there's it's going to be forced into uh, the sharp mode, and there's tons of tons of shimmer in that part, like in that mode. And you can't. I think that uh, there's there's. Uh, 
an, like a bug or whatever that makes it so that you can apply a scaling mode for the perfect mode when and it doesn't even do anything. Uh, but the um, the one to one pixel aspect ratio needs to have a scaling mode so it interpolates it, but it doesn't. You can't activate it. Well, you know what? Why don't uh, after I fight whatever the next there, there's two bosses in each level? Is that right? Yeah, I mean when we when why, I mean, why don't why don't I do that and then I'll I'll download the original and because I'm I'm really curious to look at to look at what you were talking about. Well, why don't you yeah do the mid boss or whatever? Yeah. And besides, I gotta I want to finish the video tonight too. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh oh okay yeah it's I. I I didn't think it was 11 quite yet, to be honest. Ah. Oh. I mean, I don't have much to do on the video. It's just... Insert those couple of shots that you you got for me, and then. So people are get, people are getting Asha overload from us tonight and tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's just like that's. No, I wanted to. Do be out before the stream. I, I'm not. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm not complaining. I. Th I think it's. I think it's, it's kind of cool that the stream and and uh, the video releasing next the next day will be kind of connected. Yeah. Exactly. So the um, the one to one, one to one mode definitely disables soft and crispy modes when it needs that. Because mm. without that, it's it's Shimmer City. I had the hardest time finding little spots to to show off where the where the shimmer is. Oh yeah, it's, it, well, I mean, certain but, games just move at a certain speed where it's like not right. as obvious. But I found like the best place to do it in this is is the scrolling background when it says the name of a new area. Mm. Now, like, you know, I remember, like, when the AVS first came out and it didn't have interpolation, it was like, for some reason, like, just the way it was, the way that system was, like, it just, it wasn't as bad. Yeah. And, like, I remember, you know, NES Classic, like, some games shimmer very noticeable, other games not as much. It just depends on the speed. Like I remember like Zel I think it was Zelda 2 was, you know, not not bad. It goes on and on. I mean, it feels like overly long, doesn't it? Uh, I mean, but, you know, there's really only four main... I mean, I guess maybe kind of five. Well, the, uh, I mean... The last level is, like, super straightforward. Though. Yeah. The, the last... Uh, the, I, I remember the last level had really good music like you know i mean i i remember getting really hyped up that you know had like you know the classic wonder boy like final but then the actual level doesn't have like any music it's just kind of like it's not i mean i don't remember it being very good it just in the, it didn't stop. in the original version doesn't the i mean I, i'm talking like the the underground area has like the wonder boy like castle music no 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 that's just in the cutscene. what no like the, that's, that's the last, the last level totally has has the has the you know the the 
the classic like you know dragon strap castle music um yeah it does it's it's, it's got a remix of it huh mm hmm but I remember for a long time I had a hard time finding a version of it on YouTube. I have to take another listen. Mm. But yeah, since it's late and since you're going to be showing it in the video tomorrow anyway, let's, uh, yeah. let, uh, uh and you, you showed, you showed the classic version on switch last week anyway. So yeah, yeah. no, no, uh, so no need for that. We bring that up, bring like hit the option button. And you can switch versions. Well, I don't, I, I haven't downloaded it. It's okay. It's like there's no switch. Mag. There's no switch version here. There is on Final Fantasy 14 though. See, Oop, I didn't. oh, you haven't put your code in. I have, but I did when I was on. It was on PS4. Go to your go to your library then. I had to do it like in my library first. Go to your yeah. game library. I don't know why it jumped out of my library. Oh, is it? And then is hit it, it on it, hit start on it. Is, is, well, is I mean, the first I, one. Huh? That, that's Asha. I know. That's what I mean. Hit start on it. Oh, weird. So it just downloaded like related content. Yeah. I, I was going, I was going to scroll down. Now you got to switch versions. It took me forever to figure that out. Oh, that's weird. So if, if I change game version, does it change the tile? No. Weird. <laughs> like, I feel that makes sense for Final Fantasy fourteen, but but this it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, let me tell you, it, it's it's a trip comparing the PS four and. PS5 versions of Final Fantasy 14. Like they're so similar and yet inexplicably different. And <laughs> I hope people will watch that when 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 uh when that's up. <laughs> I mean, I, how far off do you think it is? I guess it's probably you probably have most of the footage already recorded, right? Oh, I mean, I've got all of the frame rate stuff recorded. Mm -hmm. Which is the important part. I mean, that was exhausting. Just so you can just fill it with exhausting in every way. So like the, the rest should be relatively easy. I mean, the, the, the actual right. edit I think is going to go quick. Cause I mean, I've, I've got all this material, like already ready to go. I mean, how do you plan on showing it in a way that is like, uh, different, I guess. I mean, you just, are you just going to like, I mean, just put in like, uh, game footage in between but for the most but. part. Yeah. 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 But, um, uh, uh, oblivion Nix, uh, I, I was saving to different slots because I always make as many saves as I can in a game just because it leaves, uh, like areas to go to, like if I wanted to go back and record footage for any reason. So that way, like, if I'm recording something from a game, like I, I can grab something from the middle of the game instead of always having just the beginning of the game or my save file at the end of the game or something like that. Yeah, I made the mistake of not saving on multiple saves through most of Asha. Oh, yeah. But in uh, uh, regarding the question for the um, uh, uh, for for the different versions of Final Fantasy 14. One is the PS4 version in backwards compatibility mode. And one is the native PS5 version. And there are reasons yep. to consider both. That's all I'll say. <laughs> there was a uh, $10 from, uh, from Daniel Castillas. We just had the saying, thank you with the, with the, with the pair. Oh, the pair. I love the pair. Pair. Pair's great. And there's also uh, a dollar from Chris Fratz, and I, it went away. It must have been a, a stream lab. So give me one second, and I'll bring it up. Mm. 
just a moment. Uh, $1 from Chris Fratz saying, Speaking of Final Fantasy XIV, I've been dipping my toes back into the game after not playing it for almost two years. Uh, I got just got from level level 8, where I left off, to level 9. Nice. Woohoo! <laughs> I mean, the early game should go pretty quick as far as I know at this point, because they... As, I, I don't know all the details, but I, I understand they condensed a lot of the early game. You know, the, the first phase of the main story is generally considered to be fairly boring. And then the expansions are super good. Um, it's, it's good, but it's, it's a lot of world building. You know, you're, you're not as intimately involved with, you know, the, the events that determine the fate of worlds. So I guess it's a little less exciting, <laughs> but it's still pretty fun. I think. Yep. All right. So is that going to do it for this week? That will do it for this week. So, uh, yeah, look for that Asha video sometime tomorrow. And, uh, I mean, if I can, you know, I'm going to have you look at this really quick and then I just, I'm going to put those shots in and export it and you can watch it in the morning. Yep. Yep. All righty. Thanks to everybody who donated and, and hung in there for the whole entire stream. All right. And we'll see you next Sunday.